great for me. Judges are good. Okay. Okay. Let's check. What the fuck? Is there anything even in there? No, it's just crap. Oh wait, we still got lots of, we still got, just on our gun, this is good, our phones, uh, uh. okay, let's go. We always forget to do this, why did we go boom boom? Boom, 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 boom. That's a amazing speed. Let's see when it was. Um, that's fine. What day was this? It was a week. It was literally a week ago. We're literally trying to get a judge for a week. Are, is today the day that we can finally find one? It would definitely be interesting. Be interesting, man. It's our 20th day. How are we doing for money? It's a good question. Oh, 22 fucking grand? We're dope. We're really in a good spot, honestly. Just stop being a dumbass. Just stop being dumb. Don't be stupid, stupid. Yeah, I'm being dumb. It's a weird fucking. It's such a weird intersection. It's so weird. Wait, those are broken, like. That's weird. Like, yeah, like, sometimes the shit will just break inexplicably. Alright, I'll tell you what I do need to do. One thing that I haven't done. And that's, first of all, it's stop being a dumbass, dumbass. Boom. Boom. Let's see if there's a judge about it. I fucking hope so, dude. It's it's literally been a week. 
Like, and I know the judges are busy. The busy people, I get it. I'm hoping that with the, the ballots that he's been open. I don't know if he can fucking. If anybody can fucking hear us, you know? Looking fresh, my man, I must Thanks, say. Thanks, man. Of course there's no fucking judge. Of course there's no goddamn judge. Oh, hello. How are you boys doing? What's up? What's up, mate? Oh, you know, you just just been looking for a judge for the last week, you know, no big deal. Mm, oh, there's one yeah. in the one in the courtroom at the minute who probably doesn't have much going on, so you could give her a go. I might do that. Hey, uh, quick question for you guys. What's up, Tron? Do you guys know if there's any like pamphlets uh, so that I can look That's at it, everybody's sure. policies for uh, voting? I don't want to just you know uh, randomly pick look somebody. Look on Twitter, Abdul posting his, you know. Okay, I think yeah, the government website is where they put their applications in, and I imagine that contains some aspects of their platform. You know, I'm just gonna say right here, vote for Abdul. I got a promo trading card for you if you do. Wait, really? Oh, really? I, I like trading cards. That'll yeah. be my first ever trading card. Abdul's uh, been very supportive of me. Um, he's probably the most kind person I've met. And, uh, you know, I was talking about potentially opening up a business, and he was supportive of that from the beginning before the whole mayoral stuff. Huh. Alright, well, uh. Do you know where I can go vote then, real quickly, to do that? Just through, yeah, just through that door, mate. Just literally uh, go through there. Go to the left, and there's through the curtains. Alright. Yeah, did you wanna. I already voted for Abdul, Abdul, to be fair. But yeah, I'd, I'd love. Yeah, I already voted for Abdul, man. To be fair, I saw the, um. I'll get you a card, though. Yeah, I know. Man. That's where I had to come by before. So to be fair, like I um I looked on the LSBN app, there was a couple of sponsored posts, um mm -hmm. and you know I read the two that were on there, and you know out of those two, um I think it was Nancy and Abdul, you know I didn't agree with all of Abdul stuff, but like most of it was like you know stuff that I was for, so you know yeah. that, for that's me, what I voted for. Like you know? I had the past relationship with Abdul, and uh, you know he supported me, so I could support him. It's your lucky day. Oh! It's my first time getting a car. What yeah, is this? Yeah, look at that. Look at that one. That's sexy. There's uh, no pixel trading cards. There's uh, <coughs> you see on your GPS. There's like a little like uh, card symbol. Um, that's for the dealership. Um, so there's a guy that'll sell you like individual packs. He can sell you booster boxes for about thirty five hundred. We got our Abdul card, that's all so we you, do. So you pick up a binder for free, so you can stuff your cards into a nice little binder. So, uh... I, I, like, I like that you can just do this and be like, hey, look, look at my shiny card. Mm -hmm. no, that's, that's pretty cool. Here, here's a question for you. Uh, that's fucking hit how, how do I flip over, flip over the card? Uh, you could just, you know, grab it with your finger. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying, and, uh... Mm. Oh, no. Oh, Maybe you could try space. My hands are sticky. Oh, I see. Listen, Amber. I'm, 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 I, uh, I've been up for a while. I gotta be up even longer. What? Do you still have copium on you? Gimme. This is that was mine, and you took it. I will literally give this one more minute because at that point we'll have been waiting for like nearly a half hour. It's trying to be nice. Get back down there. No! Go back down there. I will give you control. Get! 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 Thank you guys hey. for showing up in a timely manner. Yeah, Office I don't media. know where the defense is, but... Hey, uh, Your Honor, can I take this phone call?
go. No, uh, no, I gotta go. I'll be in court. Sorry. All right. Well, I've given them plenty of time. I don't know where they're at. I'm gonna go ahead and call this courtroom into session. board out. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and read the statement of claim and all that stuff and then I'll open the floor to any motions that anybody may have. <laughs> Alright, this is the appeal for Frank Mucus. Statement of claim reads on uh, 22nd of May 2021, Frank Mucus performed an act of self-defense against a coyote who was running towards a group of people, himself included, and appeared aggressive. There are multiple independent witnesses who observed this incident. We're thankful for the actions of Frank Mucus in securing their safety and begged police to stop treating Frank like a criminal. All three charges are obscene and amount to an attack on the right to self-defense punishing a licensed gun owner, going so far as to revoke his license, for defending the safety of himself and others from a dangerous wild animal. The charges include animal cruelty times one, reckless endangerment times one, and criminal use of a firearm times one. I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna go with any motions uh, before we proceed with opening statements. Does either side have any motions they'd like to present? We do, Your Honor. All right. Uh, the prosecution motions to add uh, pickles here as evidence. Uh, so two things. Uh, one, I wasn't aware that we had started. Um, the well, the green. The trial was supposed to have started 28 minutes ago, so. Well, the mucus is only recently arrived. They're on their way. I will say that. Um, well, we've already started, so. All right, uh, and obviously, uh, objects to new evidence given discovery closed. You made it very, very clear. Rebut, well, Your Honor. I'm going to ask that you allow this anyway, as not only is the defense not even here, his own counsel was late, on their way. and Mr. Pickles is very cute. That's true. Pickles. You know what? Had the defendant arrived on time, and any of the witnesses arrived on time, then sure, Albert would have denied Your it. Your Honor, However, can, you can't blame them for the train. Well, <laughs> that's obscene. I could have communicated that. I have assisted them in, in getting them here in a timely manner. You yourself only just showed up 28 minutes after we were supposed to have started, so excuse I, me for not being lenient. I gave you a left ear, Your Honor, uh, but if they haven't been able to been get on the, the train... Room. Where were you? Waiting for the chaps to get off the train. Okay, well you could have communicated that in here, instead of being outside. Pickles is in. Any other motions? Pickles is in! No? Alright, let's proceed with opening statements. Prosecution, the floor is yours. Thank you, Your Honor. Today we are here because of an incident that occurred on May 22nd. Ranger Tessa Lamb was in the area north of the Alamo Sea attending to a vehicle that was flagged as stolen. Yes, she noticed the, the defendant game. Frank Mucus, Look who is her. not here, and other individuals fishing at the docks and was going to check them for fishing license. I will give you contempt if you start smoking in this courtroom. Oh. <laughs> Put it out. Put it out, bird. Continue. Okay. Jesus um, she was going to check them for fishing license after attending to the flag vehicle. That's funny. Shortly after, Ranger Lamb heard a gunshot from nearby. It was so close she was afraid that she was being shot at. Upon further investigation, she discovered a dead coyote on the docks <gasps> that had been shot by Frank Mucus. Frank claimed he was acting in self-defense. However, the evidence you will see today will show you that not only was Frank not in immediate danger, but he did not take the necessary attempts to preserve his to own life, better, as well as the coyotes, right before shooting it dead on sight. We're on top of RP. this, he endangered what? the life of Ranger Lamb, who could have been hit by the projectile of the shot as she was standing just on the other side of the coyote. That is... Frank had no legal reason to discharge his firearm that day, and with that, we asked the court to deny Frank's appeal of animal cruelty, reckless endangerment, and criminal use of a firearm. Thank you. They're, they're right not to go for brandishing as well. Uh, good, mo good afternoon and may it please the court. Uh, on the 22nd of May, we will hear about how Frank Mucus, a licensed gun owner, defended himself and others from a coyote. An affirmative defense will be put forth that Frank Mucus correctly, legally and safely conducted himself in accordance with the standing ground concept. 
we will learn that what happened was not cruel or reckless or criminal. We will not see any evidence that proves that any of the charges were pressed on that day are correct. I love this. This will be done for a review of evidence and extraction of testimony from mm. Frank himself. It will be here. His brother <laughs> Lucas, it will be here. It will be here. And two strangers, at least one of whom will be here. He met and protected on that day. We have independent witness testimony that will support our case today. You better. Uh, today, we hope the court will grant this appeal. Uh, and return is firearms license, which was revoked at the time, so that all legal firearm owners can feel safe in utilizing their rights and defending themselves from animals who are threatening the physical safety of themselves and others. An animal like, this life. This is an interesting case, right? Should not uh, be like, worth more than it needs. Because this life. is this is and basically self-defense should apply equally. Like, this is basically you Hi, have prosecution like, call your first witness rp Wait, please, go and get him the prosecution lobby. calls ranger tessa lamb to the stand. all right this unfortunately is... tessa lamb is not on your witness list in fact the only witness you have listed looks like what Pitt. no your honor they are the officers involved i'm defending them i don't have to okay, call but them they are not uh actual like listed witnesses here uh last time i did that supreme justice the bar got mad at me well, you still have to list them as actual witnesses. Just because they're listed as officers involved doesn't mean they're actual witnesses. They're not considered defendants because this is oh. a criminal action involving the state. Well, I'm being told different things by uh, justices, Your Honor, but... All right, if, that, if, uh, Le if, if she is Supreme Justice... Frank up here and then, Lucas in the back. Um, yeah, I can, I can start re relisting them as witnesses but last time i did that i was told i don't have to because i'm defending them that that's something that um i'll reach out to get some clarity on in the meantime okay. if, if supreme chief justice the bar allowed it i will uh, allow that to okay thank you all so right yeah, this is a clear Ranger case of Lamb. mechanics i love that she's hovering uh, mechanics would you like me to come up here your honor versus or? fucking yeah, yep i'm the, the witness, um yeah. rp and you know, we're hoping. All right, raise your left hand. You know, here like, because the mechanics of right, is that, like, the truth, the whole truth, by default, the, the fucking penalties coyotes, they're not aggressive. Physical. They're just not programmed that way, which is a mechanic, right? right? And obviously, How the are you, defense Ranger? is going to argue that oh, no, it no, was I... aggressive. That's good. Which obviously uh, can wasn't. Go ahead and state so your name and rank for the court just doing it. It's going to be interesting. Uh, senior Park Ranger. Tessa Lamb. Hey, and were you on duty the day of May 22nd? I was. Before the incident occurred, what Amazing. were you doing in the area? I was uh, approaching Where's the that fishing pickles? dock. I can hear uh, pickles. As I knew that there were people fishing out there uh, for their work, and I was going as a park ranger to go and check their licenses. And you reported that you were sitting on your ATV near where the incident occurred, and you heard something. Can you explain what you heard? Uh, I Turn heard off, a sorry. gunshot ring out uh, very close nearby. Did you call for backup? I did. I knew uh, Pinzone and Gold were around the corner. Uh, they had just left the area after dealing with another incident somewhat nearby. After hearing the gunshot and upon moving closer, what did you find? I found the carcass of a coyote, as well as uh, some casings and the individuals that were fishing peacefully nearby. And how long after the fishing shot were you at the scene of the shot? Uh, within just a couple of seconds, really. Did you hear any cries for help or any yelling after the shot or before? I, no, I didn't hear anybody calling for help or anything. When I arrived, everyone was fishing peacefully, and then when I came around the corner after the gunshot, everyone was fishing peacefully. And were you close enough to where you would have been able to hear yelling and screaming if there were any? Yes, I was. And when you got there, were the people at the scene freaking out had, that they had almost been killed by a coyote? Uh, no, I, I recall I actually had to ask people who had fired a gunshot. 
Did they seem distressed? <laughs> no, not at all. This is uh, uh, this is what very are general attitudes from what you see? Very damn. Uh, Objection, nice speculation. Work. This is a reason of someone's uh, behavior. It's not appropriate for a common officer of the law. All right, rebuttal. Yeah, we're not asking for like specific attitudes or emotions. We're just general body language and capabilities. Which is, yeah, specific. that's within scope. Cops can absolutely well, do that. Asking her to uh, speculate here what their possible attitude could have been. This time, I'm going to that objection let's move on uh what you could have as asked park is, ranger did you know it's... Ranger, do you have experience when it comes to animal cruelty and did reckless you endangerment? see any body language it would indicate uh, objection that's a leading question uh, i don't understand how that's leading your honor does she, she have experience to the charges that are being brought before the defendant yeah i i don't yeah. See how that is a leading question. This time I'm going to uh, overrule. Yeah, just, that should be overruled. I may re ask the question. One, one. Ranger Lamb, as a park ranger, do you have experience when it comes to animal cruelty and reckless endangerment? I do. Right, if someone three. is about to be attacked by a wild animal, what are the necessary steps? Oh they my need? god. Uh, well, first they need to make sure that they can uh, avoid. Having that interaction Somebody turn your fucking phone off. Really try to encourage people Jesus to keep their distance Christ, and man. make sure that if they are encountering something, terrible. that they stay well away from it if it is uh, appearing to be agitated in any way. Uh, but if it does come after them, they can fire upon it if it is a matter of life or death and they have no other alternative. And if it comes to that, what are they required to do after they shoot the animal? Uh, they are required to notify a park ranger or any officer of the law. By 311. And did you receive any 911 calls or 311 <laughs> notifying you about the shooting? You wouldn't. That's... No, I did not. <laughs> Where was the defendant, Frank Mucus, when you were inside of the incident? Uh, he was over by some barrels, uh, just fishing off the side of the dock. With is... a couple of his friends. I mean, that's not so necessarily just a huge was deal he because she else? was so close. No, he was just standing like, there. Fishing. Even if she was there, fifteen. Uh, did he show any signs that he was? After. Sometimes it takes, call? you know, more than that to sort of draft mm, up a not that I could tell, no. So I don't think that's particularly did as Frank damning as. Frank and his friends have ample opportunity to leave and retreat that, to safety. That they think. I believe they could have. Yes. What could Objection they have speculation. <laughs> she even mentioned that she believes. I think her answer to that was just more of a general language. Go ahead, um, I can re-ask her if she wants to give a definitive answer. Okay, I, at this time, I'm going to go ahead Overall. and uh, sustain that objection. You and should sustain that. Testimony right. may uh, rephrase the question. Okay. Uh, Ranger Lamb, could they have... Did they have ample opportunity to retreat? Yes, objection. The question respond. is speculative as to what ample time even means. I, I don't even need a rebuttal for that one. I, I agree. Uh, she wouldn't know if they would have ample time to leave. <laughs> no. Was, well, to uh, be fair, they've already she's already testified the that they so wouldn't have had ample time. Like she was literally on scene. Frank, you can come like, up here if you want. Seconds. I'll ask a different question. Seconds. Based on the area, Ranger Lamb, what could the defendants have done to retreat? Uh, objection. That's another won. speculative Frankie, answer. Okay. Uh, we don't know the circumstances. We don't it's know if they had any time to retreat. Uh, there's simply too many factors that Miss Lamb is not aware of, or at least has the, not testified as to DA's being aware of, as to answer right that without speculating. I think. I think the DA Honor, needs to just has, move on. She has stated the area of the location. She's a ranger. She's very experienced with this stuff. I feel that her answer will give good clarity it, no, to what they it does, He to needs retreat. to move on. He needs to go away from it. Not I'm based on timing or anything. Again, um, agree with the defense counsel and... Uh, yeah, he needs... Yeah, he just needs right. to move on. Move Ranger, on are coyotes thing. a protected species? Yes. Uh, they are not a protected species, no. Then in that case, was it killed within the boundary of a legal hunting zone? No, it was not. Objection relevance. Uh, we're not looking at any hunting charges today. Uh, we don't know what the defense's take on this is going to be. We're just clarifying that it was killed outside of a hunting show, even though it's not protected. Okay. Um, I'm going to overrule. Uh, yeah, I need to make it known to him. 
Uh, Ranger, do the Rangers have a pet coyote? Uh, he is not a pet. Objection, he's relevance. Uh, it's not relevant to the events of the day of May 22nd. Evidence was accepted. Uh, we do have pickles in evidence here. Uh, right, right behind me, walking into the flag. A fucking pickles! Uh, apologies, Your Honor. He's, uh, he's a bit uncomfortable being indoors. That's fine. That's fine. Um... I, I want to see where this line of questioning is going, so I'm going to overrule the objection, but keep it limited. Don't want a tangent about I'll, uh, the pet I'll also rephrase the question, if I may. Uh, who okay. is Pickles Ranger? He is an educational ambassador, Aminal, who Aminal. Uh, <laughs> I am rehabilitating after his family was killed by a hunter. And can we bring Pickles uh, to the front so everyone can see real quick? I uh, apologize. Your Honor, just before we do this, uh, one of my witnesses, Blaze Green, uh, has uh, just learned he has very limited time to be in the city. So I don't know if we're able to somehow get his testimony, uh, uh, perhaps after Miss Lamb's, uh, sort of sandwich it in. Uh, I know it'd be a bit unorthodox, but just in order to ensure he's, he's heard today. Ah. Uh... No, fuck it. So, can I get both counsel up here? Of course. Sidebar! Sidebar. Listen, it's not my fault. It took me fucking half an hour to start this fucking court case. Pickles! It shows pickles, he's cute. It shows fucking pickles. Hey man, get a, get a picture of me. Get a picture of me. I look good. What? What? What do you mean? No. What the fuck? Is she a witch? Don't get that on film. Oh, we need some footage of this. Oh, look at him! He's so cute! Dude, he is fucking cute. He's absolutely fucking cute as fuck. Look at him. We'll nudge you in off the Tessa, right? Alright, uh, you may continue your line of questioning. Okay. Ranger Lamb, is this Pickles right here? Uh, yes it is. Oh, uh, very pickles. cute. He is very uh, cute. Uh, would Pickles ever hurt anyone? Uh, no. He has been hand-reared. Uh, he is a canned, uh, coyote, and he would not attack anyone. He's actually more prone to run away if, uh, someone is attacking him or that, causing that. him harm. See the relevance here. Could the poor coyote who had been shot potentially be Pickles' family? No, no, no. It's possible. Overrule! Objection! If the necessary precautions had been taken on this Why thing, are you not would the poor coyote that? still be alive? I'm I believe so, yes. Oh my god. Thank you. I know the lawyer just you. whiffed it, dude. Appreciate he should have objected to that. Now, referencing the police report, uh, we're going to look at the picture labeled Coyote was... Carcass, Your Honor. I'll give you guys Why? a second to pull that up. It's uh, located within the police report. Why didn't you object right. to that? Uh, Ranger, just let me know. Could it have been? been? That was a purely, have it. purely a speculative question. Okay, so look at this picture. How far away was Frank from the Coyote when he shot it? Uh, if you look at the picture, uh, just dead center next to the barrel down at the, uh, base of the... <coughs> oh. Apologies, let me silence my phone. That was bullshit. What the fuck? Uh, he was next to the first barrel you can see in the photo at the bottom of the ramp. Did you find any casing? He fucking whiffed it, dude. I did, uh, there was a single casing next to that barrel on the left-hand side. The... Is this an evidence? Uh, yes it is. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna reference people's B in evidence. Fuck? It's gonna be outside of the police report towards the bottom of the dock. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh, let me know when you have that. Don't, the, the fucking defense is okay. wicked so hard. Can you read the serial number for the casing in this phone? Uh, 9690 dash x zero g dash seven three zero okay and then referencing people's b right below that can you read the serial number for frank's weapon uh 
appears to be the same serial. Okay, so just to be clear, there's no doubt that Frank shot it from that location, and it was him who shot it. Uh, yes, the, the casing and the ballistics did match the firearm that he had on his person. What are you doing? And after your investigation, did Frank have any legal reason to discharge his firearm? I'm not, Objection. in my opinion, no. Object! Uh, okay, I'm gonna uh, reference people's C. What is this fucking lawyer doing? Looking at this photo, where were you located before the shot? in reference to this photo. Uh, I was behind the large bushes that were uh, in the background of this image. And did you provide a picture of where you were located in the police report? I did. I, I went back and I, I took a photo of where exactly I was standing. Your Honor, we're just going to note that this picture is labeled as approximate location of Tessa Lamb when the shot was fired uh, within the police report. Fucking stupid yeah, man. And just for clarity, uh, this wasn't during the actual thing, but uh, you went back later on to take a photograph of where you were standing? I, yes, I did. Ooh. I was aware that there was going to be a case, so I wanted to make sure that that was mentioned. Okay, just wanted that for my records. All right, you may continue. Thank you. Uh, Ranger, were you yourself put in danger because of the shot? Yes, I could have been shot. He was shooting at an angle, an upwards angle, considering the uh, the angle of the ramp where the coyote was when it perished. Uh, I was behind the boulder and the bush. He did not know that I was behind the boulder and the bush, and he could have shot me had he missed the coyote. Did the actions of Frank Mucus show a disregard for the foreseeable consequences? Even if he'd hit, like, if this was real, yes. even if he'd hit it, that bullet could have right. fragmented no further gone off in all sorts of fucking direction. Fuck, it could have ricocheted back right, and hit him. It's very questions. unlikely. Uh, no, nothing for Cross. If possible, I'd like to recall when orders get Mr. Green on the stand for time constraints. Uh, she is listed as a witness for the defense, uh, so you may recall. Uh, Ranger Lane, you may step down at this time. Okay, so I know this is a bit unorthodox, but one of the witnesses um, has some time constraints. Uh, one of the defense witnesses. So we're just going to call him up, get his testimony out of the way, and then proceed back to the prosecution. And your flexibility in this matter is greatly appreciated, Your Honor. I appreciate and, uh, that, Your Honor. Prosecution counsel. It's a little unorthodox, but we, we just deal with it. All right, uh, raise your left hand there. All right, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under the pains and penalties of perjury? So help you wayward. I do. So help you wayward. What, what is this witness's name? Uh, I'll, I'll just ask the first question. Can you provide your full name for the court, please? My name is Blaze Green. Am I right to continue your question, Your Honor? Yes. Uh, yes were sir. you at the dock on the 22nd of May? Yes, I was. Uh, why was that? Uh, I was there to fish. Did you travel there with anyone? Uh, no, I was by myself at the time. Ooh, scumbag. Uh, what happened scumbag when you writer. arrived? When you initially arrived? Uh, there was a few groups of people fishing there at the time, and uh, so I pulled up uh, by the end of the ramp at the docks to begin fishing. Uh, did you know anybody who was there? I did not. Uh, to be specific, did you know Frank Mucus at that time when you arrived at the dock? No, I did not. Did you have any kind of personal relationship with him at the time you arrived at the dock? No. Would it be fair to describe Frank Mucus as a stranger to you at that time? Absolutely. Objection leading. That's a yes or no question, Your Honor. Okay, I think we've gotten to that point. Uh, he didn't know who this individual was. He was going to allow it. We've established the last few questions. He didn't know this person was a stranger. I'll um, be moving on, Your Honor. Don't worry. Thank you. Uh, was anybody else there uh, at the time who was in this courtroom currently? Uh, yes. Uh, could you name and point to him? Uh, I forget his name, but Frank's brother uh, in the green hair there. Uh, what's he wearing just for the sake of the court? A uh, green suit with a nice bow tie and some sick green hair. And for the court's reference, he's uh, pointing out Lucas Lucas. Yes. <laughs> a fucking terrible name. Could you describe where you and the others were standing at the time? 
Um, I was standing on the western side of the dock uh, below the ramp, and I believe they were on the eastern side behind me on the other side. I, I noticed that we have some pictures of the dock, but can you give your perspective? What was the dock like? Was it big? Was it small? Was it wide? Um, was it narrow? It's decent enough so that a couple people can walk past each other without having to shuffle around, but uh, not very wide. Alright, what about the entrance to the dock? Is that wide or narrow in any way? Um, it's pretty narrow. It is pretty narrow. But there's uh, so there's a ramp and some stairs. Yep, I know exactly which one to avoid. Uh, while you were fishing, did anything interrupt you? Uh, yes, there was a coyote that began to approach the docks. Uh, can you give any details? Uh, was it, what was it doing? Um, so it began to approach the docks and then very rapidly run up and down the docks. Um, and it was acting very erratically, almost rabid. Whoa, uh, did it appear attacked. aggressive? Uh, yes, it did appear I'm aggressive. Fucking hell, what is not the uh, can, can you just almost specify rapid. the aggressive behavior that you witnessed? Almost rapid, yeah, right? Yeah, it was uh, showing like, his objective teeth that, and like, uh, that making he would a lot of like, rabid because he's not a medical, you know, around. he's not a veterinarian. Like, he's not quite, he shouldn't be qualified uh, Did people to around you uh, say that they were in fear at the time? Uh, I did myself, and then uh, I believe Frank also expressed his uh, concern about uh, our safety. Did the wolf uh, make make a, an approach Objection. towards the group? It's not a wolf, uh, it's Yes, a multiple times. Uh, and were you, just to confirm, were you personally in fear for your life at that time? I was. And can you just clarify why? Uh, I've been out hunting before, and I've been out, uh, you know, on the side of the road checking out some rocks that I like to collect. But, uh, you know, sometimes I've been snuck up on by animals, and all it takes is one bite, and you're down on the ground, bleeding out. Uh, did you have any kind of escape route from where you were on the dock? Nope. Um, yeah, seemingly I could jump off the dock, but that's very unsafe, seeing as the, you know, we're very high off the ground in shallow water, and the the coyote wolf thing was like running around uh, on the docks towards the entrance. Was it? Uh, would it be fair to say that the coyote was blocking uh, the only entrance while approaching? Yes. Did you feel unable to safely retreat? Yes. Uh, when the coyote made an approach, uh, did Frank shoot it? Uh, yes, he uh, brought out his pistol and when he was able to get a clear shot, he took it out. Uh, where were you in relation to Frank when he shot? Um, I was to the west of him, so I was to his left side. Uh, did you see anybody in front of Frank as he shot? Uh, no, I could not see anyone in front of him. Uh, we heard from earlier Tessa Lamb, she was at, you know, near the front of the dock, behind a bush and a boulder with her ACV. Uh, did you see her? Uh, no, we did not have any visual on the police officers. Did anybody else there mention seeing her? No. That's good. He's arguing uh, that How many shots did Frank fire? One. I believe it was one shot. Like, he's making a good point. He's immediately. basically saying that there was no idea. Uh, yes. Like, he had no idea uh, that somebody Did you feel there, as though so Frank like, defended your life at the time? Yes. Yes. How about like, now? Do you still feel that, that way? That probably should Absolutely. be dropped. Because she already did said Frank herself that... Did Frank inform the authorities after shooting? Didn't, they didn't know that she was there. Um, well, before we could actually even begin to inform, inform the authorities, they were they were already on scene, yeah. and we actually had known that. So we yeah. figured that clogging up the 911 with a that's, report that that's you know, valid. we that's could talk to officers immediately about. Absolutely. Uh, to clarify, uh, was the shooting reported to Tessa Lamb as, as soon as she arrived on scene? Yes. Uh, and how quickly from the shot to Tessa Lamb arriving on scene? What was the sort of time in that? She oh, said a few was, seconds, what about you? Yeah, that was definitely very quick, because they were uh, in the area. So, seconds. Uh, what did Lamb do? Uh, she began... I, th I believe the first thing they did is they placed him in cups before they even, you know, started questioning him, and they were saying, That's like, who shot? Standard. Why'd you That's shoot? That's standard. And uh, a couple of us began to try to give, like, statements about how the coyote was acting very erratic. Uh, did you feel ignored while speaking with Miss Lamb? I did. It seemed like uh, she was probably a bit more caught up in uh, trying to secure the scene. Which you should uh, did be. she give any verbal indication that she was understanding what you, uh, you and other witnesses were telling her? No. Ooh. 
Uh, what were the other people on the dock doing at this time? Which is understandable, because um, it's a mechanic. A couple right? of them were trying to finish up the fish that were caught on the end of their poles um, as they were coming over, and uh, we, a couple of us that witnessed it began uh, trying to describe that it was uh, self-defense. What happened next? Uh, they placed him in cuffs, and uh, I believe they took him off to the police department to charge him up. Uh, what did you do once you saw him being taken away? Uh, I began talking with Lucas, because uh, since he was his brother, and uh, he was saying that he was going to have contact with him at the police department, and we planned to drive over there in my car. Uh, what happens? Uh, sorry, did you drive over there? Yes. What happens when you arrived? Uh, just to clarify, uh, where did you drive to? Uh, Sandy Shores Police Department. <clears throat> All right. And what happens when you arrived? Uh, the oh, police were off. inside, they had the doors to the lobby locked, so we were outside, um, and we began to make contact with, uh, Pinzone, and he was, like, kind of talking to us through the door a bit, it was hard to hear him, so he eventually led us inside to the lobby to speak with him to give statements. Uh, did it feel like, uh, Mr. Pinzone, like Miss Lamb, was ignoring you? Um, in Your Honor, we're gonna yes. object to relevance at this time, none yeah. of this has anything to do with the charges brought That's true. The defendant. It's good. May I rebut uh -huh. you on it? Uh, yep, yeah, I would say it's relevant uh, insofar right. as, uh, you know, we, we have people on scene attempting to give uh, explanations to the officers, then being ignored. It seems relevant to the charges and the conduct of the officers as a whole during the, these Ooh. charges being pressed. Mm. Okay. Um, like I said before, I'm going to um, allow this, just keep the questioning, um, you know, limited. Don't go on any giant tangent here. Who is this judge? Yes, Your Honor. Overruled. Uh, so, just to repeat, uh, did it feel as though Mr. Pinzone was ignoring you in a similar manner to Miss Lamb? Yes. Uh, what what generally happened when taking your statements? Did anything of note happen? Um, he began taking it one by one. He had a notepad out. You should um, take them one by we one. We were describing a lot of information. I didn't hear like any you know clarifying questions. Uh, you know, making us make sure that the statements were clear and concise, but. He appeared to be taking uh, all of our statements. Uh, were there any of your officers there? Uh, yes, there was. Uh, I only know of Tessa and Pinzone, uh, but I know there's right. a, at least one other officer there. Uh, was any of their conducts of note? Did anything? Did they do anything uh, particularly noteworthy? Um, I mean, things kind of got heated in there a bit um, as we were trying to give our statements. Uh, and they eventually kicked us out of the police department. Uh, to clarify, they kicked you out for attempting to give witness statements? Um, no, I would say things kind of, verbal arguments ensued, uh, just kind of small oh, he's fucked like, differences himself a of opinion bit. maybe. Um, nothing too major, but just uh, the police just wanted us to get out of there so they That's could valid. clear their heads. That's valid. Understood. Uh, did they contact you afterwards for any further information? No, uh, no. Uh, that'll be all for direct question. Thank you. All right, prosecution. Do you have any questions for this witness? All right, Mr. Green. Uh, during the time the coyote approached, did you guys yell or scream? Um, no. We were just talking with each other. No one was screaming. You were just generally pretty calm that a coyote was coming up to you. Maybe I mean, we weren't calm, but we, I mean, screaming isn't going to fix the situation when we can, uh, you know, like talk amongst each other without screaming our vocal cords out. Look, look, it just sounds know. a little conflicting because you guys said you were fearing for your life, but based on your recent statement, it doesn't sound like you really feared for your life. That's true. So, are, That's are good. you insinuating because I didn't scream out loud that I was not in fear of my life? Potentially. I'm asking you what your general re reaction was. You say you guys were yeah, just calm was, talking to each other. I didn't say we were calm. He didn't. He didn't say that. And uh, have you had an experience we like this before? Uh, right. Yes, I have. I've been uh, snuck up on by a mountain lion before and a coyote. And uh, what did you do after the coyote was shot? Objection, uh, relevance. Uh, what does this have to do with Mr. Mucus? What does this have to do today? I don't believe I asked any sort of question uh, in this manner either. These are within the scope because, Your Honor, you allowed a 
much Sorry, further scope to go. Are you asking what did he do after the coyote was shot and saying it's not relevant? No, past experience. Just repeat the question. Repeat the question. What did you do after the coyote was shot? Uh, to clarify, I was asking in particular about past experiences where with Mr. Green personally, not this particular experience with this particular coyote. No, I'm that's, asking that's about why this particular experience. Right, with he the, already with asked guy. that question. Ernest had answered and then he moved on to another question. I'm, I'm going to overrule. Yeah, you should. Go ahead and over answer the question, Mr. Green. What did you do okay. after the coyote was shot? Uh, I turned around and... Uh began talking to police officers. Uh, were there police officers already there on the docks with you? I mean, yeah, they arrived on scene within like 10, 15 seconds. Well, I'm asking immediately as the coyote was shot, what did you do? The, the police yeah. I took a breath. Afterward. I took a breath of air. <laughs> That's a good answer. I like that right. one. Thank you. That's a really good answer. Nothing for redirect, Your Honor. Actually, apologies, one for redirect. Okay. Uh, Mr. Green, uh, sometimes if you're scared, do you uh, feel scared quietly rather than loudly? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Alright, sir, you may step down and uh, leave this time. Again, Your Honor, and it. prosecution, greatly appreciate the flexibility in regards okay. to this witness. Oh, Alright. Ooh, Move shit, back on to the prosecution. I know that was a little unorthodox. Uh, prosecution, call your next witness. Prosecution will call Ranger Pinzone to the stand. Pinzone! Right. Sorry. Pinzone, you sexy cunt. Alright, here's your left hand. Actually, right, what so the, the truth, fuck, the truth, Pinzone? The of the truth and the pains and penalties of perjury shall help you airborne. I do. <laughs> Ranger, can you say your name and rank, please? Ellis Pinzone, Senior Ranger. Were you on duty the day of May 22nd? Uh, yes, I was. Did you respond to a call for backup from Ranger Lamb? Yes. Can you describe what you know? What? Hello? 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 Wait, did my, did my sound just die? Oh. Did my sound just fucking die? Is that thing that fucking happened? Boom, boom. Boom. At least a, a, a minute. Because we were uh, across the road. And what was your involvement with this incident? Uh, I was the uh, officer who uh, pushed for the charges and uh, helped with uh, scene control and, you know, gathering evidence. And after gathering this evidence uh, and upon further investigation, did the defendant and his colleagues have the opportunity to retrieve safely? Yes. Did they do everything necessary to preserve their own life as well as the life of the coyote? Uh, objection, this is all speculation given that we have no reason to believe he was on scene. He's speculating based on uh, this is not post event. speculation, Your Honor, because he is a ranger and he can see if all the necessary steps were taken to That's prevent this. He technically can. Okay. Uh, yeah, you are fact, asking well. him to speculate where the, did they do everything to preserve their own life? If, we don't know if he wasn't there uh, to the moment prior to the shooting, and he even stated that he arrived. Um, a minute less after. than a minute later, so I'm going to go ahead and sustain it at this time. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's valid. Okay. And uh, when you arrived, Ranger, uh, what were all the, what were Frank and all of his colleagues doing? Uh, they were just fishing. Okay. Uh, no further questions at this time. Ooh. All right, defense, do you have any questions for this witness? Indeed. Don't uh, wait it was less me. direct question I expected. Um, why did you push for the charges so strongly? Uh, well, I believe, uh, as uh, 
you know, I am from uh, Vice City. I do understand the uh, gun safety laws as uh, my experience as an officer here as well. Uh, to uh, my knowledge, there was a officer who was uh, already on the scene nearby. No, there was no 911 no. calls made. They had Dead plenty of distance to back off based on where the shot was from and where the coyote carcass was found. There was more than ample opportunity to at least call the police. They're curious creatures, There was right? no need to uh, shoot an animal, especially a harmless one, over by, you know, instead of running into the water or towards the end of the docks. So coyotes are harmless, people. are they? Yeah, the yes. scavengers. Absolutely harmless. All yes. of them. Yes. So it's impossible for a coyote to have ever attacked a person. Yes. Impossible. I see. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, we're not going down that line of questioning. Move on. This One is a mechanic. Uh, how many exits are there off the dock? Uh, As a clarify, is there one exit off the dock? To find an exit. Uh, there's multiple exits. You could jump in the water. Is the water around the dock extremely shallow? Uh, it depends on part of the dock you're on. Uh, so in some parts it's shallow. Yeah. Understood. Uh, so to clarify, was the coyote blocking? Uh, well, sorry. So uh, I'll re-ask. Uh, is there only one land exit off the dock? Yes. Uh, there's two. Uh, are they right next to each other? Yes. Okay. Uh, was the coyote uh, referring to the various pictures we have in evidence? I think there's a specific one titled Coyote Carcass. Uh, is it in the entrance uh, to the dock? So sla entrance slash exit. Objection speculation. As you stated yourself, uh, he was not there during the actual incident. You only saw the carcass. Uh, I'm referring directly to the carcass and the carcass's location. Okay. Um, because we're not, <clears throat> excuse me, referring to animal's whereabouts while it was alive and just the carcass when it was found and the carcass was stationary um, I'm going to go ahead and allow this line of question should allow it, yep. overruled. Uh, can you re-ask the question? Certainly. Uh, was the car is carcass in the entrance slash exit to the docks? Yes. It was in one of them, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, one moment. Just, this is very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm really... Uh, just to clarify, oh, were you on scene as the events unfolded and the shot was fired? No. No. Uh, did Miss Lamb ever state to you that she personally witnessed any of the events occurring around the shots fired? No. Uh, she only uh, heard the the uh, bullet being shot near her. That's to clarify, not what she, she said. Did, did she or did she not personally witness? Uh, or did she state that she personally witnessed or not? With her eyes, no, she did not witness. Okay, uh, one moment. This is interesting. Uh, did the... Uh, I'll, I'll specify names. Did Lucas Mucus, Blaze Green, or anybody else uh, try and explain to you what happened? Uh, yes, they did. Why didn't you care about what they had to say? Well, I, I did care about what they had to say, but, you know, statements are one thing, evidence is another. That's true. Evidence so, should trump statements. To clarify, uh, they, is there any reason why they felt ignored or why you kicked them out of uh, Sandy PD? Physical evidence Well, should uh, trump it's a statements. long story, but statements after we had, had uh, arrested, evidence we had uh, is... brought Mr. I mean, okay. uh, Mucus into custody, or, uh, what was it, Frank Mucus into custody. Depending on, you know, there was, uh, while we were detaining him on scene, there was a lot of arguing, and a lot of like, people rounding just around right. three officers, uh, stating that he didn't do it, or or that he was in the right. As we brought him to uh, Sandy, we were followed the entire time there, in which we locked the doors. As, you know, we had, like, a mini protests outside as we were processing him. I gave them the due diligence, and you know, I brought them inside and got their statements, but it still didn't... The evidence and everything that we had found during that scene, it didn't show any signs of, you know, self-defense. Is there a reason why you didn't trust what the witnesses had to say? Because of the evidence. 
It's true. If, if evidence is pointing you in one direction and just to clarify, the evidence direction. is simply of a casing and a carcass. Uh, can you explain how from that evidence you, well, you decided the evidence to press is, his shoulders? Yeah, the, the evidence is from them not calling 911, them not okay, calling for help, use that. and the moment they had arrived, they 9 -1 -1. were just fishing, and then once they noticed their Frank was in cuffs, that's when they all of a sudden were j quick to defend him. Uh, did they express that they felt it was an injustice that you were doing? Uh, yes, they did. One moment. I, I firmly believe. That'll be all for the cross. Okay. All right, prosecution, do you have any questions for redirect? The fuck you doing, Pinzo? Not this time around. All right, Ranger Pinzo, you may step down. Good! All right, does prosecution have any other witnesses? Yeah, we're going to call... Prosecution's going to call Amber Gould instead. All right. Gould, 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 Gould. Gould! Amber! Uh, yes, Auntie gone. Coming up. Yup, coming. I'm coming. I'm oh. coming, ma'am. I'm coming. Oh my god, Amber, stop being such an idiot. Fucking great, dude. Alright, here's your left hand in the air for me. Alright, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under the pains and penalties of perjury, so help you African snowball. Yup. Alright, that, that was a new one. Hi, Gil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Miss Gold, these will be pretty quick too. Um, can you say your name and rank in court, please? Um, Deputy. That was so bad. Deputy Amber Gold, BCSS. Thank you. Uh, what do you want to do the day of May 22nd? Yes, I would. <laughs> God. Did you respond to a call for backup from Randy Lane? Yes, I did. Can you describe what you noticed when you first arrived? Fucking great. I noticed a poor, innocent, dead baby coyote laying there, just laying there dead, lifeless, helpless, <laughs> very, very far away from all the fishermen and a bunch of just guys hanging out fishing like it was no big deal while the poor, poor, poor coyote was just laying Objection, there. Objection, narrative, this witness is going on an unprompted <laughs> narrative. Just let it happen, it's like... Fucking great, Amber. That's so fucking good. That was my rebuttal, Your Honor. You want a TLDR? I walked happen. up. The coyote was dead. Hold, as hold fuck. on, hold on. Stop, stop. Yeah. There's an objection. Shut up, Amber. Uh, I did. I think a narrative would have been a little bit longer, Your Honor. I think she was just wrapping. Okay. Ra wrap well, it up. I was setting a scene. That, that was it. Okay. That Ra was wrap scene. it up. Don't go on an <laughs> entire tangent here. I'm gonna. I'm gone. gonna over. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna sustain it. What? Antigone, Antigone, Thank you, I put a honor. condom on my statement, please. No. Please. What? Ask more pointed questions, prosecution. Okay. Uh, what were the, uh, what were Frank and his colleague doing when you arrived on scene? Fishing. They were fishing. Did they seem distressed? No. Did they, were they acting as if nothing had happened? Yes. Objection, speculation, again, it's uh, trying to treat Miss Gold as a psychologist when she was in fact a cadet at the time. <gasps> Alright, rebuttal. Um, I'd say that's more leading than speculative, but uh, probably <laughs> your decision, you're on. I mean, you are asking her to speculate on their state, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, sustain. Try to keep the questions within her personal knowledge. What were uh, Frank and his colleagues, uh, how did they react to him being detained? Angry. Well, one of them walked up, which was, you know, Frank. He walked up and he was like, all right, I did it. And uh, he just wanted to confess and thought it would be, you know, just done with. Um, they were all kind of up in arms, kind of uh, confused and upset, like why killing a coyote <coughs> would be such a bad thing. Objection, this witness is going on a narrative once again about it. Okay, she, she's answering answer. the question. Overruled. She, she really is answering the question. Thank you. Continue, Miss Gold. That, that's basically it. Uh, he came to talk to us. We talked to him. We analyzed the scene and 
everyone else is kind of just kind of like, what the fuck? Did Frank or any of his colleagues tell you that they planned on calling 911 about this shooting? No, they did not. Did they show you that they knew what the necessary steps were, what they were to defend themselves from an animal? Nope. They didn't have time. Can you touch more on the charges that are brought before him today and why you decided to charge him with this? Yeah, I mean, so. What? Can you repeat the charges to me again, just so I can make sure I'm hitting every point? Yeah, since uh, Mr. Pinzone is the one who actually charged him, it was uh, animal cruelty, criminal possession of a firearm, and reckless endangerment. Uh, animal cruelty, reckless endanger endangerment, and something with a class one. Sorry, I lost vision for a second. Yeah, animal cruelty, reckless endangerment, criminal use of a firearm. Well, reckless endangerment, he shot a gun in front of four, uh, three or four other civilians, and he also shot facing the direction of where Tessa was. When we already are, were on scene for another thing prior, so that's two more people and Pinzone and I just leaving the scene. So reckless endangerment is just that. Uh, for the animal cruelty, he shot a coyote that was at least like, look, I'm not going to say in spacing amount because I didn't measure it by like exact terms, but it was, so let's say, you know, the fishing dock, you know, the, the middle of the fishing dock towards the end where you actually get on the dock. We have the, this in evidence if you want to just speculate to make it yeah, easier. Well, the coyote was a good distance away from where the shots were fired and where they were fishing. And uh, after analyzing the scene, the casings were very, very far away from where the coyote was laying dead. So um, we, we don't have reason to believe that the coyote even got close enough to attack them or was aggressive in, in any way, shape, or form. We believe it was just roaming, you know? Um, so Ranger right. Lamb stated that uh, shooting an animal, uh, per the law, it has to be a last resort with no way out. Was it Correct. clear that there was no way out for them? Absolutely uh, not. I I believe that uh, I believe that they just shot the fucking. I think they just shot the coyote, sir. Without oh. trying to. Uh, Objection! This witness is anything. actively speculating. Okay. And she's giving her first first hand point of view from the evidence. Idea. That's why we have evidence. Otherwise, yeah, every single yeah. case ever would be speculative. Okay, I, I'm going to agree. She is an officer giving her professional uh, statement here. Uh, oh, to make it short, I do feel okay. like. Hold on, sorry, Miss Gold. Wait for oh, her. Over, okay. Overruled. Thank you. All right, you can continue, Miss Gold. Okay. Um, I, I feel like there could have been other measures to take in this situation uh, that they didn't take. Thank and you. instead resorted right. to shooting the coyote, yeah. That'll be all. No further questions. Yeah. Nope, stay there. Oh, okay. Oh. Stay there. Hello, Ms. Gold. Hello, sir. Uh, why did you ignore the witnesses trying to explain what happens here? Why are you ass ass Objection, assuming Scope. that I ignore oh, Hold on, hold on. There's been an objection on the floor. Uh, I never talked or asked questions regarding them going to the police station or talking to the officers afterwards. All right, rebuttal. I will rebut that he specifically mentioned that, uh, sorry, uh, Miss Gold specifically mentioned that the people were up in arms when he was arrested. It, uh, in fact, I think it was a specific question what happened when he was arrested. So the, the witness's reaction was mentioned in Miss Gold's answer, thus the scope was opened. That is true. Uh, prosecution did ask how they react to him being detained. Said they were all up in arms and confused and upset. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and allow that uh, overruled. May re ask the question if you need to. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there a reason you ignored the witnesses on the docks trying to explain the situation to you? So. Nobody ignored the witnesses on the docks. In fact, we all took their statements and got a rundown of what happened. We asked them all specifically what happened, and we didn't ignore them. I think that's like an assumption. And there was a second incident where the same witnesses, including your client, rushed into our uh, sheriff station and started um, causing a scene, in which case we asked them to leave. 
Because... Oh, I see. You mentioned that uh, second scene. Did you happen to insult any of the witnesses at the time? No. I told them promptly to get off. All right, hold on. There's been an objection. An object to relevance. I don't see how this has anything to do with the charges at hand or within the scope. All right, rebuttal. Uh, I mean, we talked about the, the whole issue with the police and the witnesses earlier. I think it's important to the case because, uh, you know, it shows uh, the on-scene witnesses disagreeing with the people who didn't see what happened. I think it's relevant in that regard. Okay, well, relevant or not, there is no foundation for this question. We just kind of jumped into that. Your Honor, um, um, may I rebut to that? Sure. Uh, Miss Gold herself specifically mentioned the second incident, uh, which was related to Sandy Shaw's mm -hmm. PD following stuff. So the foundation was laid by Miss Gold herself. Incident. However, there is no mention of insulting a witness. It's like we're jumping around here. You're missing essential, uh, you know, pieces of the story here. So at this time, I'm going to uh, sustain that objection, and I'm also going to add lack foundation. Yes, you're right. Rephrase or ask a different question. Uh, Miss Gold, during your interactions with the on-scene witnesses, uh, did things get a bit, uh, what's the word, aggressive, perhaps? We're specifically talking about the second scenario? Or the uh, either or. Uh, I do think that uh, Frank and his friends got a bit unruly, in which case the scene was controlled. So, but did anything happen that turned aggressive at the second incident scene at uh, Sandy Shaw's PD? Uh, yeah, you, you had three people rush into the PD, uh, be asked to leave, obstruct justice, and we were nice enough to let them go. They wouldn't leave the premises, and in instead uh, started, uh, they were just causing a scene. Preventing Did you insult us from any of them? Doing our jobs. No, I didn't. I asserted my dominance on them, and I told them to leave. Okay. One moment. Uh, from all the pictures uh, and your personal experience at the docks, uh, how many land exits are there? Action scope. Sorry, was that an objection? Yeah, objection to scope, Your Honor. All right, rebuttal. And on my rebuttal is we talked about the docks. She talked about being on the docks. Scope's open, I'd say. Yeah, I, I think agree. That's a misstatement of testimony. Oh, yeah, we, we've we've already gone into extreme detail about the scene itself. Um, testifying to the entrance and exits of the, it's fine. Uh, overruled. Scope's already been open. Would you like me to re Miss Gold? Uh, how many land exits are there to the docks? Correct. Uh, there are, there is one entrance, but, um, there are other ways that you can exit. Uh, are those other ways on land? Um, yes. Can I see a photo of the dock, actually? Uh, are you speculating at the moment? Are you unsure? I'm not speculating. If you're I unsure, know, feel free to say. I just say, know what you're, you're, like, trying to drive me into. You're saying that there's one dock and therefore there's one exit, but there are I'm other just asking you questions, Miss Gold. The scenario situation could have been approached. Can I refuse to answer anything, Antigone? Uh, you can, but I'll have to go ahead and strike your entire testimony. Oh my god, okay. Um, well, since if you I don't know, you're baiting me to, to say, say that there's one exit, then there's one land exit, technically. Understood, all right. And is the dock surrounded by a lot of shallow water? Sorry, I was, I was muted because I was eating. Yeah? We're literally waiting for this judge to be done Very to get our one, thing. Right? So, but this is really interesting. This is a very interesting case. Like, because it's basically... You have the prosecution arguing like mechanics. Yeah, in your professional experience. And then you've got the defense uh, arguing role play. Uh, so. Is self defense against the wild animal possible? Sorry, can you repeat? Is self defense very, very against the wild case. animal legally possible? Now, both lawyers have dropped the ball. There's a couple of places where they should the have objected, yeah, but they didn't. Um, this defense guy. When, because uh, you see the, you see the coyote here, see, you see pickles, right? Basically, um, uh, he was stood here, gold. and uh, one of the, um, I think the, the, uh, yeah, the, the prosecutor, he basically yeah. asked, fucking Amber got up again. It's the second time she's done that. Debbie like, Gold, is it unreasonable yeah. to jump into water if you fear for your life? No, it's not unreasonable. 
contracted. No more questions, Your Honor. Thank you. To be fair, here's the thing. Uh, you can catch shark. Like, if you're doing fishing, you can catch sharks. So that right. means that yeah, the water uh, is shark infested. Like so the uh, defense like attorney could argue uh, from the casing that that the is not a feasible uh, way of escaping because you can catch and baby shark. Like to so therefore, a shark could theoretically attack With you. That, the Boom. Then that basically... That puts All off right. the water I'm going defense to go completely. Ahead and put this court into a brief five minute recess. I, I think, I think uh, that's the way defense. that I would have gone Everyone, go had food, I been this defense attorney. I'd have been like, this is. Yeah. But, so yeah, the. The defense attorney, um, he was just stood there, and the, the prosecutor asked if, um, if pickles, if the coyote that was that was shot and killed, could possibly have been. It was a lake, but it doesn't matter because you can catch baby shark. So in the the scope of the the RP of the world, like if there were baby shark in a lake right if they're baby shark then that means then conceivably there could be adult shark in that same lake plus the lake is actually physically connected to the ocean right baby shark do do do, do. yeah i know but anyway so the um I'm, I'm gonna tell this story so yeah he basically asked if you know the, the coyote that was killed could potentially have been pickles's like family and literally the defense didn't object which he should have because like it's a lead it was leading it was speculative it was all of the things that he shouldn't have done but yeah i, I think if i was defense i, I definitely would have gone into a different way So yeah, but yeah, we 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 basically we came to the the because we're not even signed in on any we didn't we didn't even sign in as fucking media we just drove straight here, so we're like not even getting like decent paychecks so I don't give a shit to be right and frank quite frank right now, all I'm looking for is the fucking this RP this is great I'm gonna speak to a judge, and then if I get my fucking pilot's license today, I will be so happy. Oh yeah, look, we don't have any shit. Yeah, bear in mind, I'm going to ask uh, pretty much the same question. Look, have you seen, you've seen that, like, Nikki, like, um, Tessa's doing the whole uppy yeah. thing. that point, you know, but their argument is basically, are, are you saying that they should run or would you rather see an animal <coughs> or would you take that? I don't understand. The doc is too far out. Yeah, and that's fine. fine. No, no, because as soon as I got here, the judge... So basically, when I got here... So this, this court case was supposed to start an hour and a half ago, right? We've been in here about an hour. So it was supposed to start an hour and a half ago, like pres presumably at restart. The yeah, the, the attorney guy there, uh, the, the the defense attorney, was in the lobby, waiting for his clients, because um, they had pro troubles getting in, apparently, whatever, which is understandable. Look at pickles. I love pickles, man. Pickles is great. It's abuse. Abuse. Animal abuse. So I, th I think that this is very, like I said, it's a very interesting case here because you're arguing it's RP versus mechanics, right? And theoretically, 
in a in a, a battle between RP and mechanics, RP should always win. Right, you, the RP should win, but I think I think both sides are basically made. Then that look like he's about to challenge me to a Pokemon fight in his ad. I think I think they they it's just the very like I said it's tr interesting case. Um, I think I think if maybe if the cops hadn't overreach i think i'm out of all of the cops i think amber's done the best like the best case on the the, the stand you know i think the the lawyer keeps the 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 prosecution keeps asking about like he keeps making a statement of like well why was 911 not called they've like tess has already like basically testified right, that we'll she was on scene before we uh Convene. Okay. Like Tess has already testified that she was on scene literally like maybe 15, 20 seconds after the shots. Like that's it's literally not enough time to like pull out your phone, slash three one one. Hello, I killed a I I stood my ground against the coyote at this location please send a ranger like that's just not possible to do in 15 seconds okay it's it's just not you could do, you could dial 911 but i i'm not sure that i'm not sure that standing your ground against an animal would constitute as was that maybe it would constitute as a 911 possibly but i think the safer the safer thing for that would be a 311 honestly i think that's that's just safer. So, yeah, I I think that I think that's interesting. I love that pickles are still sat there. All right, is everybody ready to reconvene? A firm. Defense is your honor. Right. Prosecution is your honor. I'm going to go ahead and call this general appeal back in the session. Uh, we're going to go ahead and begin with defense if you want to call your first witness. Indeed. Uh, we'd like to start with the recall of Tessa Lang. I love that she's hovering. Tessa, get your ass over there. All right, Tessa, come on up. All right, Deputy Lamb, you are still sworn in. Uh, defense Senior Deputy Lamb. Did you be personally Ranger witness Lamb. any of the events uh, before the shot was fired? No, we've already established. Uh, yes, as I arrived, I witnessed uh, all the individuals on the dock fishing peacefully, uh, and I I didn't see any sign of a coyote attacking anyone, nor did, did I see anyone screaming or acting like they were in fear of their life. Did you lose That's sight? Good. Uh, yes, for one moment, I looked at a license plate. Uh, our coyote is quite fast. Uh, sorry, quite fast. Uh, not particularly, no. Are they faster than a person? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Pickles has a hard time keeping up with me when I'm running from him. Is that just, uh... Pickles in particular? That's that's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, I mean, Pickles is an individual, I guess. I suppose there could be faster coyotes out there. Uh, let's just talk about uh, Pickles. Um, is he? Would you say sure. that Pickles is like a normal wild coyote? Objection, no. leading. No, normal he's tamed. What was that? He's tamed. Wild. No, he's already he's had red. He's he's terred. Tamed. They've already established uh, I mean, things. Uh, is it a yes or no tamed. question? I'm asking, is it similar? Yes or no? Leading can, questions can, can still be yes re or no. Hold on. Can you rephrase the question in entirety? I, I missed like the last half of that. Yeah, uh, I don't recall the exact word I used, but I was basically asking, can pickles be compared to a normal wild coyote? Uh... I'm actually happy to answer this, Your Honor. Um, and you're saying it's... I, I don't think that's leading. I'm going to go ahead and uh, overall. Uh, just, so to answer your question. Before you answer, just this whole, you know what, both counselors approach. 
Sidebar. Sidebar! It's so dumb. I think I think this is the the good the good show, you know. I think that One moment. Why we? Why we? Come on, hurry up. <coughs> we did get an Abdul. Just to confirm, you you time. earlier mentioned uh, pickles was ham bread and ham bread. Yeah. Is that yeah. just confirms that correct? No, that is not correct. He was not ham bread. He was uh, a puppy when he was brought to the Beaverbush Ranger Station Pizza. after his family had been killed by a hunter and he was left orphaned so not hand bread but would it be fair to say it was hand reared yes that is correct however that does not make him not still a wild animal uh, he's de normal... not domesticated mm. you can look up the definition of domestication sir oh the sad uh, I, I suppose I'll refer to your exposés. Do undomesticated animals typically sit in courtrooms uh, politely for long periods of time? Tamed animals can. Domestic animals could, depending on their species and their level of training. The uh, I apologize, but we're not experts in the same way as you, perhaps. Uh, can, can you put it in layman's terms? I, I don't really know how much more layman I can define that, sir. <laughs> The sass of Tessa is great today. The sass. Uh, just to clarify, uh, how quickly you were on scene? You said a few seconds, is that correct? Yes, I was behind the bush and I heard a gunshot. I called for backup and then I was around the corner. Uh, did they, w when you spoke to him, did they give any indication that they knew you were there? Uh, no, they just, they all seem think to the be reckless, standing there. The I had to reckless, actually ask um, them who had firearm. shot their firearm. I, don't, uh, I, don't I must object that this is a narrative unprompted by my question. And I, 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 I that don't that believe that. that's like three words. Charge. That's not a narrative. No. Uh, okay. Uh, you mentioned a boulder. Where was this boulder that you were talking about? Uh, it was right in front of my ATV where I was uh, walking around at the time of the shot. So to clarify the scene, was the boulder and the bush blocking your view of the dock at the time? Yeah. So yes, for that moment it was. The I like I said, uh, I think shots the you reckless discharge one thing shot. should definitely not be. One moment. I don't think that should have been pushed. Um. Oh no, that's the During the entire arrest, case, to be fair. Uh, did Did you listen to witnesses uh, as they tried to give their side of the story? Uh, yes, on the scene we did. Yeah, uh, is because... there a reason you did not take their uh, like, their opinions into account? I, I feel like if they're pushing that charge uh, yes, because, because we Tessa had evidence on the it, scene that pointed to a different narrative, and we believe that these individuals were biased towards the basically suspect. nobody could ever discharge a gun because why did you believe they, they, they had were no biased? idea that she was there? Uh, well, because one they of have them their was life brother, brother, so sir? that's the reason that they shouldn't push that charge. If they're, they're okay, just well, pushing it because they. They, they uh, discharged for all it. I know they could have been friends. They shot the, so you the animal. I think they should have pushed they the animal cruelty, not the defense. discharge of a, a firearm. I think that. I think those are the right uh, charges. When people save fair. your life, are you generally grateful towards them? Uh, certainly, if I feel like my life is in danger. Do you believe that might have been how they felt at the time? I, I don't know. Objection, speculation. Council objected the same thing when I. Yeah, fair enough. One moment. Where is the defendant? Uh, Lucas? Any idea? Did, did the defendant have a headache that... Yeah, I think he might have head popped. He was just in that chair a second ago. Oh, my head popped! 
Too long fucking say that. No. Right. That'll be alright. I, I can. But yeah, I, I didn't hear what he said. Oh, he said, uh, he said, yeah, he was just in the chair. So. Okay, alright. I'm not sure if he was We're gonna have a recess while we wait for the defendant to uh, return. Understood. And I'm just being like, okay. Oh, okay. I don't think that that's the right choice. I just. The animal cruelty, yes. I think. I think the fact that they're arguing that. <clears throat> That there's no place to go, like based on where they would where they would have been fishing, um, like there, they that that animal would have to have like got way closer to them before, you know there was literally no other um thing. Also, to defend them, the the guy that we had earlier, he also said that the animal looked. It looks rapid and the defense sorry the prosecution should have rejected because he's not a veterinarian so he would not know he would not be qualified to diagnose that you know the animal being in that state like i i feel like that is like those are the two objections that really Ooh, should have been check made with your client that and absolutely see if they... weren't have a yeah, I'll shoot him a, shoot him a message real okay. quick. But yeah, I, I, I this is like I said, this is a super interesting case. <laughs> But no, I'd, I'd be really interested to find out why he didn't object to the the Mr. Blaze saying about the fucking, the rabid, the rabid. I, 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 I think you'd need to be a, a veterinarian to to be able to sort of diagnose that by uh, a lot. Have you heard back from the defendant at all? No, fuck him. On the train. Your Honor, while we wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna meditate for just a minute or two, okay? Yep, you're fine. This has definitely been a this has been a cool cool case. I don't
It's your turn. Do you want to? All right. Uh, witness is briefly meditating, so give her a second. I understood. Should I be wearing my hat in court? Should I be wearing my hat in court? Probably not. But fuck it. Who gives a fuck? So I wish I could get fucking hired. No, no, it's, well, technically we're... Can I sell you back? Technically we're not really in session. Because she, she called it out of session. I, to be fair, I'd probably ask after it's done. I'm going to speak to Judge and if he's still around. Yeah, no, it is, it is in recess at the moment, but... I, I just, I'd just be curious to, to see why... He didn't object to that. Like maybe he didn't hear it. Maybe he thought it wasn't objectable, object worthy. I, I don't know. It's just I don't. Know. I just I just find the whole legal process. But I think it really goes to the fact that my it's something that my character would want to know as well. Apologies, Your Honor. No, you're good. All right. Uh, both sides ready to resume. They go. Yes, sir. Recess. Let's go. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and call it back. Let's go. Uh, so I believe we left off with a doc. Um, so yeah, I asked about uh, witnesses talking to you on the scene. Uh, did you take any notes about what the witnesses were telling you on scene? Yes, of course you did. Uh, not at the time, no. Ooh. All right. Uh, what did you do after he was in cuffs? Uh, we yeah, because the again, um, you don't know. Photos like... and. PSR tested him. He turned out to be PSR positive. Uh, we read him his Miranda rights. We questioned him a little bit, and then we took him down to Sandy PD. Uh, what happened to Sandy? He was processed. Uh, Injection we processed. Vague? Yeah, I can be more specific if you want. All right. If you don't please, know. please do. Uh, Understood. Uh, what happened immediately after you arrived at Sandy PD? Yeah, but like even if you uh, we had him in the holding cells like and, uh, a feeling that an animal is rabid is I'm not sure that that is give their statements that would give Kim's you own. sort of like like the ability uh, to actually just that interaction, shoot something they became increasingly because if you don't know anything not, you could say uh, oh you know mama I think mama's a rapid cat you know, and if we're and just going by this, just like my opinion, and badge numbers, I don't think uh, an opinion that an animal might might be rapid is I like justification to shoot an animal. Not worth going you know? down this line with them, and I trespassed them from Sandy PD. I asked them to leave. That's true. I gave them my name and my badge number, no, and, and they stepped I, outside. I, I, that's like, that's completely agreeable. But One moment. a a professional would have. We, a Did you change your treatment I feel of, uh, like your a treatment professional would have a better frame of, of reference to judge that no. rather than like uh, just is there a reason like you didn't me. listen to the eyewitnesses they as i said before we believe that they were biased towards the suspect uh, as they were family and potentially friends we had evidence pointing to the fact also, that he had negligently used his fire Like, he's green, he's green, uh, and the other guy is literally called well green. As harmed an animal like, that did not need to be killed. I agree, I, I agree. Uh, did you yeah. or any of your colleagues insult the uh, the people who came to Sandy on Frank's behalf? Uh, I don't know whether or not they felt insulted by anything I said, sir. What about your colleagues? Did your colleagues say anything that you believed they would find insulting? How can I... I do not recall. I'm, I'm Jack. Oh, that's convenient. No further questions. 
Alright, prosecution. Do you wish to cross? No. The, I, I, think, I think Nikita did a decent enough job, but I think she needs to be crossed. I, don't, I think she did a decent enough... She stood her ground enough with the, the, the attorney. I don't think that she needs to. Uh, Ranger, when you approached the scene and saw the dead coyote, what did the defendant uh, tell you when you asked how far away it was? Uh, I was asking why he would shoot it when it was so far away from him and why he felt his life was in danger. And he said uh, that he had shot it because they were, they were afraid. Um, and he said that the coyote had Fucking. been shot and ran a couple of feet and that's why it was so far away. And can you tell us about the gun safety regulations? In... Objection, I believe this uh, is out of the scope. That is out of well, scope. Well, you questioned her about their precautions and the steps that they took, and this is going to fall right underneath it. Uh, I'm inclined to agree with that. Uh, overall. I, I will be more specific. Can you tell us uh, the rules and the steps of the gun safety regulations when it comes to shooting anything, whether it's for self-defense or just the gun standards is what I'm getting at. Uh, well, the main thing for at least this incident would be to make sure that you know what is uh, behind your target That's before true. you fire your firearm. The, but, they, they, see, I, I think that he's actually, like, this is a mistake. And uh, did this shot come out of nowhere? Or did you, was there any preceding uh, events that took place that would have hinted at? N not that I'm aware of, it just kind of rang out, I don't know. And uh, what are the precautions to take if you are to defend yourself from an animal? Uh, don't. You would want to make sure that you can get away. If you can't get away or you feel like there's no other option, you would fire upon the animal and uh, do so in a, a quick and humane manner and then contact the police if it is a uh, they didn't have time Something to contact the police. I, 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 I think this is... I think this is hurting her case more than they think... Like, more than they think it's helping. Ready for redirect or not? Yep. Uh, did they report the shooting to you personally? I see. Uh, not until I asked, no. Were you um. on scene very quickly? Yes. Uh... In your professional experience, how often uh, do people, you know, seem a bit off after a stressful or shocking situation? Uh, very often. That's right, yeah. Uh, so to clarify, uh, is it uh, possible uh, that they were shaken by the whole experience and not able to formulate what they wanted to say to you immediately? Objection, that's speculation. That's good, no, I did Yeah, fair enough. One moment. That was a good question. It was a very good question. But I think it's this lawyer is doing, he's doing some top work. He's doing some top At the work time, work. did you consider that they were in uh, shock or some way, shaken, uh, and that was why they was not able to answer you immediately? Uh, no, I don't believe so. They appeared to be just fine. Uh, just to clarify, are you a trained psychologist in any way? Ooh. No, but I am a police officer. Thank you. All right, Deputy Land, you may step down. Yeah, we did. She did really good. All right, defense. <laughs> defense may call uh, your next witness. Lucas Mucus. Such a dumb name. After you, sir. Raise your left hand in the air for me. Who is this judge, Kurt? He's going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Under the pains and penalties of perjury, so help you, Jeff. <laughs> it's a state of that affection. Uh, please can you provide your full name for the court record. Uh, where are you on the dock on the 22nd of May? We can't Why hear. was that? Uh, can the witness West yell, please? Okay, make sure, make sure oh, you're Oh, yeah, yelling. sorry, I thought the uh, microphone was on. Right, are you guys uh, able to hear? 
Uh, re ask those two questions. Certainly. Were you at the dock on the 22nd of May? I was. For what reason? Uh, we had a job to go fishing. Uh, did you uh, travel there with anybody? Uh, just Frankie. Uh, understood. Uh, what happened there when you arrived? Uh, at first, Frankie had forgotten his pole, so he went to go get that, and then I started, uh, you know, the job, and then he arrived back. Did you know anybody who was at the dock? Uh, no, not at the time besides Frankie. And just to clarify, uh, what is your personal relationship to Frank Mucus? He's my brother. I understood. Uh, and was anybody who was there at the time, have they testified today? Uh, yes. Mr. Blaze. Blaze, I believe his name is. And what was your personal relationship, personal relationship to him at the time on the 27th uh, of May? Was he a stranger? He was a stranger. We've already established this. Uh, Why do are you know if he was a stranger to Frank? Uh, yeah, I'm usually with Frankie, so probably. Uh, can you describe what you and the others were doing? Fishing. Uh, we were fishing. We was fishing. Uh, did anything yo. interrupt your fishing? Yeah, that coyote. Uh, what did it do to interrupt you? Uh, it was running down, up and down the dock all the way to the end, back to the front. You know, it was looking, uh, looking a little rabid. Object. Understood. Why are you uh, not did it, uh, did it charge towards uh, the group that were fishing? Yeah, I believe it was snapping at uh, people's ankles as well. Understood. Uh, and just to clarify, was it moving towards you? Uh, it was moving back and forth between the entrance and Ooh. us. Ooh. Uh, just to clarify, how many uh, entrances or exits Ooh. are there to the dock uh, on land? One safe one. Have, wait, uh, is the water the around the dock shallow up. or deep? Yeah, I already wasn't feeling good, so I didn't want to, you know, knock myself unconscious. Uh, sorry, can you just clarify, was it shallow or deep? Just, just. Uh, it was shallow. Record. Understood. So uh, did the coyote appear aggressive? You said rabid, but uh, can you yeah. describe any more? Uh, it, was, it was very like snapping at people's ankles and running back and forth and snarling and stuff like that. So uh, were you in fear for your life? It sounds like... Oh yeah, I was hiding behind Frankie. So it Did anyone around like you say that the, that, uh, they that animal had life? multiple opportunities uh, Blaise, to attack? And Marcos and Frankie, I believe. So therefore, the fact that uh, it did didn't... Did you have any... say on that, Marco? Yeah. I think... I think... Uh, I think the I would only might rebut that he was called as a witness. Uh, it's just up to you, Your Honor. The same. Okay. Understood. Uh, so to clarify, Blaze Green uh, did express fear for his life. Yes. Uh, did you uh, see any escape routes? Uh, no, not besides the entrance, which was blocked off. Was the coyote blocking uh, the only land exit slash entrance? Yes. Did you feel unable to safely retreat as a result? Yes. Yeah, I did. Uh, did I Frank did. shoot the doing? charging coyote? He did. Uh, just to clarify, where were you in listen, relation to Frank when the listen, shot was Listen, I went to your website. Hiding behind him. I listened to some of your uh, was music. Was anybody in front of Frank? And you blew Frank? my fucking mind. Uh, okay. Sorry, did you I'm see anybody right in front right of now. Frank when the shot was fired? Not at all. Yeah, this is literally the first time in a number uh, of days did you see for instance, to get Miss in. Lamb? This is the first time in a week no. I've even seen a fucking judge. I, I'm not even, like... One moment. I, it's very loud and... I got my fan behind me. How many shots did Frank fire? Just one. One shot. We know this. Uh, did the coyote uh, die immediately, or what happened? I believe it took a few steps forward, but that's about it. Forward? Uh, do you know if Frank is trained on how to use a gun? Oh, yes. Uh, did you feel at the time as though Frank defended your life? Absolutely. Do you feel that way now? Still, yes. He's his brother. Uh, Tessa Lam, uh, how quickly did Tessa Lam appear on scene? Uh, not more than 10 seconds, I believe. There you go, yeah. Uh, did Frank time. inform Tessa Lam that he had shot his gun? Uh, we did. What did she do after being informed of this? Uh, pretty much, you know, she listened a little bit to everyone and then she placed him in handcuffs too. And I believe the other two took evidence. Uh, did you feel as though Tessa Lam was listening to your testimony as an eyewitness? No, no. Tessa Lam was. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Objection. 
Uh, repeat the question. Uh, I was asking, uh, did he feel Tesla Lamb was listening uh, to what he was saying as an eyewitness? The mere definition of speculation is the same. Understood. Uh, did, did Tesla Lamb give any verbal indication that she was paying attention to what you, an eyewitness, were saying? Yes. Ah! Uh, did it appear that she was uh, believing you? No. Uh, speculation again. Yeah, the same. Okay, I'll rephrase. Did she give any verbal indication that she believed you? In you fact, really were. Said, I'm pretty sure they said oh. you didn't believe us. We need to, honestly, okay. we need to get you fucking prior. One moment. Boom. Uh, you mentioned wait. more police arrived. Are they in the courtroom wait, today? Wait, 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 yes. Wolfie, as in... Uh, can you identify them for the court hang record? Hang on, hang on. Uh, pin zone in gold. Oh, then it's a different Wolfie. Uh, what did they do when they arrived? No, of course not. Uh, they believe you're about Wolf they Bella? started taking evidence. Is that what evidence. you're talking about? Or are you actually talking about a Wolfie uh, that I did know? Did they give any verbal indication that they were listening to you or any other eyewitnesses' explanations to the events? No. Oh no, because you spam me fucking thing. Uh, no, what I did uh, that, so. the now three police officers do on the dock at the time? Okay, well uh, yeah, have fun. That's can you repeat fine. the question? I'm sorry. Yeah, what did the officers, now three of them, do at the dock at that time? Oh, they, they basically just immediately put him in handcuffs. Put him Got in the back me. of the car. Uh, did they appear to take your statements on scene? On yes. scene, just Tessa. Did you feel as though you were not being listened to? Yes. Speculation. No, no, no. Uh, I'm asking about his personal feelings, I'm not asking him to speculate. That's true. He can testify to how he personally felt on the train. I'm gonna go ahead. Of course he go. can. Uh, what happened um, after no. they took him away? Um, me and the other two witnesses talked about heading up to Sandy Shores in order to give uh, our witness statements. Uh, to confirm, was one of those blaze green? Yes. Uh, and did you go to Sandy? Yes. So, what happened uh, when you initially really? arrived at Sandy? Uh, we did not barge in. The door was locked. We weren't able to get in. And Zone um, came to the door and we actually let in. Matter, and after a little know. resistance, he let us in. Uh, and what happened uh, after Pinzone let you in? Uh, we gave our statement. There we go, boom. Yep, currently, you have uh, to capitalize did it that. Feel, sure. Did you Very felt sure. listened to uh, as your statement was being taken? <laughs> Not at all. Whoa! Uh, did anything noteworthy happen while your, your statements were being taken? Uh, you know, I agree that everyone got a little heated in the PD and things like that had happened. Uh, and then they asked us to leave. Alright, did any of the officers uh, insult yourself or Frank or any other eyewitness? Uh, yes, Gold had insulted me all day. You say all day, what does that mean? Yeah, what does uh, that mean? I had met Cadet Gold at the time earlier in that day and she called me a crybaby multiple times for some reason well it does sound like a crybaby to be fair oh the, did she appear to be holding a grudge of some kind yeah i i had met her on the street and I'm i checked. told her i was going fishing and then later in the day i went to go fishing with my brother like i had told her and she came up to me and she was like hey look it's the crybaby <laughs> fucking go to let John, i have to object to relevance one more time i don't see how this is pertaining to the current charges rebuttal uh, the rebuttal is he could have objected during the questions and he didn't. Uh, That's true, he didn't. Uh, I can end this line of question if you want. Right, well, he's objecting now. Let's end this line of question. He absolutely should have objected. One moment. He absolutely should have objected. The cop insulting somebody or, oh my god, my feelings got hurt is not relevant to a criminal appeal. That's true. You could you could say that it does <laughs> on the basis uh, of next like, question will bias. Be, uh, did any of them verbally state that they were going to change how they were treating Frank based on uh, you and the other eyewitnesses coming to Sandy? I don't believe so. Uh, did they, at the scene, at the docks, state what charges they intended to press? Uh, I believe animal cruelty was all. Animal cruelty was all at the time. Yeah, I think that's the right charge. I don't think uh, the, one moment. the other ones are valid charges, to be fair. They didn't note... They didn't know Tessa was there, you know, and it, you know, if we're using, if we're using uh, sort back of like at the docks, how quickly was that coyote moving? Uh, pretty fast. Uh, 
Did you feel as though it would, uh, you know, charge at you very quickly? Yes, yes. I just felt like it had the ability to lunge. He doesn't know what the coyote's gonna do. It had already yeah. been lunging. Uh, hold on, you need to stop oh, answering right now. Rebuttal. Okay. My rebuttal is he saw it running. Uh, you know, you can tell from how far something moves. You know how fast it will move in left, right, or towards you, or away from you. Okay, I'm not gonna have the witness speculate the thoughts and actions of a wild animal. It's okay. <laughs> Understood. One moment. Does he have some sort of like flow chart? You know, I'll ask this question. If he gets sustained, I'll go to this question. He goes, we'll keep going down this path. Is that what he's got? Yeah, I think that'll be all for direct question, Your Honor. Perfect. Cross. All right, prosecution. Do you have any questions for? Cross? Yeah, no, you absolutely yes, do. Your Honor. How many times? How many times? All right, how you doing, Luke? I'm doing good. How are you doing? How many times well, thanks for did it you. like snap? You stated you? that the coyote is running up and down and looking rabid. Uh, are you a registered veterinarian? So you should have rejected no. it time. Uh, you also stated that it was snapping at people's ankles. Why was it not shot at that point? Uh, we were all scared and stepping back. You know, we didn't want to kill it at first. We tried to give it its chance. And why didn't you jump in the water to get away? I was already not feeling well and I was. I, I knew that uh, a fall would hurt me very bad into the shallow water. So you felt not jumping in the water is better than getting eaten by a coyote? Well, the other option was my brother had his gun and was able to put it down so we could all escape. Which leads me to my next question. What attempts did you make to preserve your life before resorting to shooting the animal? We tried to keep backing up and things like that, but it just wouldn't have it. So how close did it actually get to you? Uh, it was snapping at our ankle. Okay, that makes no sense. backed up further away to the end of the dock? Uh, once he had shot at it, it went uh, like a few feet away, yes. Stepped away. Uh, so something's just not adding up here because you're saying it was snapping at your ankles, but from the picture, it was shot and... That's true. He just fucked it. He's much further fucked away it. than he's just a few steps. So can you clarify uh, we that very for us? far from the entrance. Okay. Have you looked at the pictures and evidence? I was there, sir. Okay. Uh, have you looked at the pictures and evidence? Yes. And from the pictures and evidence, can you see that the bullet casing is much further than just a few steps away from the carcass? I believe it's not. What? He's pretty fast. Yeah, no further questions, Joe. He's nothing to redirect. He's he's All fucked right, him. He's fucked himself. Lucas, I think Lucas is just throwing the case. All right, does defense have any other witnesses they'd like to call the stand? Yeah, final one. Uh, the man himself, Frank Lucas. All right. I firmly believe that Lucas has just fucked this for his brother. I think he's legitimately fucked it. All right. Uh, raise your left hand for me. Alright, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under the pains and penalties of perjury? So help you, Derek. Right. Speak up. Uh, can you provide your full name for the court record? Can you make sure you're talking nice and loud? Frank yeah, Lucas. Uh, were you on the dock uh, in question on the 22nd of May? Yes, sir. Why was that? I was uh, going to the dock to fish with my brother. Uh, did you travel there with anyone? Just my brother. Uh, what happened when you arrived? I had forgotten my fishing pole and I needed to go and acquire a new one. Did you know anybody there? I did not know anyone there besides my brother. Uh, was anybody who was there at the time, uh, have they testified today? Uh, yes, I believe Blade. Understood. Uh, can you describe where you and the others were standing initially? When I had got back from getting my fishing pole, I was standing on the left side of the dock. There was many others standing towards the right side of the dock. By the barrels, right? Uh, did anything the interrupt fuck, man? the group's fishing? Just fucking yes, coyote. Uh, was it coming True. towards you? Yes. Uh, did it seem aggressive? Yes. Uh, did you feel in fear for your life? I was in fear for my life, as so as many others. 
Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Did anyone else say that they were in fear for their life? There were as many people on a dock who verbally communicated to me that they were scared for their life. Uh, can you just clarify sort of your movements versus the coyotes? This is, so, this so, is so sort of your bullshit. fishing group's movements and the coyotes during that little time period? Yeah. When I had arrived back to the dock, I was walking onto the dock and I noticed that there was a coyote towards the end of the dock who was running around. Uh, after getting on the dock and settling in and casting my line, everyone began to explain to me that this coyote was running around back and forth like it was uh, confused or stuck on the dock. It was snapping at people's ankles and whatnot. And then uh, after a couple of minutes or so, the coyote began to run back towards us from the far end of the dock. Uh, did it, quote, snap at your ankles? It did uh, show its teeth and snap towards us. Did you allow it to leave the dock? Um, I, we did give it some time to leave. We were uh, moving and trying to stay out of its way, but it seemed like it did not want to leave. Uh, and did it uh, charge at you at any point? I would say yes. And were you in fear for your life at that time? I was and very terrified. I, uh, I'm not trained. I don't know what type of diseases this coyote could have. I've uh, been attacked from animals in the past, so... Uh, did you feel as though you had any escape route from where you were on the dock? I did not have a safe escape route from the dock. I mean, I could have jumped into shallow water, but who knows what sharp rocks or other dangerous things are in the water. So as far yeah, as how shallow was land, that water? It was pretty shallow. Um, the dock's pretty high up. Definitely could have twisted my ankle if I did not land correctly. Got some slippery rocks. I understood. Uh, so just to clarify, did you feel unable to safely retreat any further? You said you'd already made various arrangements, but did you feel uh, uh, yeah, unsafe felt, at the time? I felt like there was no safe exit off of the dock. Uh, did you shoot the charging coyote? I did. Uh, was anybody in front of you when you shot the coyote? No, oh, sorry, aimed... to clarify, did you see anybody in front of you when you shot the no, coyote? No, I, I did not see anyone. I aimed my gun towards the ground. It would not be aiming it high towards a person would be. It was... Uh, Aim towards the ground on the wooden dock, and then I had shot the coyote, yes. Yeah, um, just to clarify, uh, are you a licensed gun owner? I was a licensed gun owner at the time. They have uh, evicted my license. Due to this incident, correct? Yes. Uh, are you trained on how to use a firearm? Yes. Uh, with your understanding of stand your ground within uh, th this area, uh, is it okay to use a gun in self-defense and defense of others? I felt that it was okay to use a gun at this time to defend myself and the others. Very good, one moment. Uh, just to clarify about seeing people in front of you, I just want to be very specific. Did you see Ranger Lamb? I did not see the Ranger Lamb. Uh, how many shots did you fire at the coyote? One. One bullet. Uh, what happened immediately after the gunshot? After I shot the coyote, it was I assumed that it bled out a little bit, but it did take a few more steps until eventually collapsed. Uh, how quickly did Tessa Lam appear on scene? Seconds after. Like, no time to call anyone or anything. Did she... Uh, sorry. Did you inform her that you had uh, fired that shot? Uh, as soon as she walked onto the dock, you know, still a bit shaken up. And everyone was getting situated, but yes, eventually after she uh, came and said what happened, I did come forth and completely comply and let them know that I had dealt with the coyote. Uh, you say eventually, but let's just let's just be sure how many seconds had passed uh, there, after no you. No more than a you. minute. Seconds. Understood. One moment. So hang on, right? They're, they're, they're stating that Tessa's on scene. Uh, what happened after you informed Tessa Lamb uh, that you had fired that bullet? Literally seconds uh, after, after I informed the Tesla fired. Lamb that I fired a bullet, a few more seconds passed, and then the other two was still officers moving, arrived on scene. And it, I was like then placed was in shot, cuffs immediately, and, and then it they moved to investigate the scene. Then it collapsed and died. Uh, well, what happened while you were in cuffs at the dock? I'd like more clarification. Uh, from many that. other of the people around me who witnessed it were trying to. I think he just lied himself into a corner. I had saved their life. It seemed like they did not care, and they continued to investigate the scene. Uh, were any of those people here today testifying? Blaze and my brother. Uh, just to clarify, uh, did you know Blaze uh, prior to this? Was he a stranger? Right stated. I had no idea who Blaze was. Complete stranger. Uh, 
Uh, what happened as you were being uh, taken to Sandu? Uh, so eventually, uh, from the dock, Officer Pizon walks up to me Insane. and escorts me to his vehicle and tells me that I'm being arrested for animal cruelty. I was not read my rights on scene. And then mm -hmm. I was brought to Sandy where they had put me in a cell and began to book me. Uh, did you ever hear uh, any of the other uh, eyewitnesses coming to Sandy? Did you ever hear any of that? I did. Uh, did you hear anything uh, noteworthy? Yeah, they called me a hero. Uh, just to clarify, the, the police officers or the eyewitnesses? The witnesses called me a hero. Uh, from how the police treated you after, did it seem that that was the case? No, it seemed like the police were upset with me and did not want to understand the situation or hear anything. They were completely going by the book on this one. Uh, did you feel as though the police were listening to the explanation from yourself or the eyewitnesses on scene? No, I do not feel like they were listening to me as I was placed in cuffs instantly. That's standard procedure. I also dude. felt like they were valuing the coyote's life more than mine and the other people on the dock. No medical uh, assistance or anything like that was offered. They did not act if I was okay once. It seemed like they were only worried about the coyote. That will be all for direct questioning. Come on. Cross. Come on, let's go. Hi. Prosecution. You have any questions for Cross? Yes. Hello. What about my life? Do I, am I chopped liver? Hello? All right, Mr. Mucus, uh, were you That's medically funny. injured? I was not medically injured. All right. Uh, did Ranger Lamb have to ask you who shot the coyote? She did come onto the dock and ask what happened. She did not ask me who shot the coyote. I admitted to shooting the coyote. How far away was the coyote when you shot it from you? I'd say the coyote was within lunging distance. Interesting. So from the picture and evidence where the carcass is located, and where your casing is located, in which yes. where you shot, uh, is that the distance that the coyote was from you? From your casing? No, the coyote walked a little bit away from where the casing was. Walked. It walked away. And did you explain to Ranger Lamb? Well, what about the time? What happened the when you range. shot the coyote? I did. They did not want to listen. They just kept saying this coyote was not close enough, and I kept trying to explain to them what happened, and they did not want to hear me. No, I think it's. Just, I think. Was that hard for you? Really? Uh. Sorry, Your Honor. I had. Uh, what was your answer to Ranger Lamb when she asked why you shot the coyote? <laughs> I told her that everyone on the dock was in fear for their life. This is so. This is interesting, and, uh, right? So I think he's asking the wrong questions. Like, what he needs to yes, ask. Is Are like you the gun safety regulation. Like yes, I, I, I feel like they've already like claimed that the case is already fucked, right? Because the evidence shows you shot first of all, the coyote has been snuck uh, into the check was... your surroundings before shooting. Right. So at which point you would just shoot Nobody immediately. Was around me. I even told the witness but to stand back while I dealt specifically with the situation. With I did not this shoot upward. Coyote's not very close. He's already stated that Tesla Lamb was on on scene seconds after. Like what we need to what they should do is try to establish. Like Mr. how Tesla. far, like no objection. Um, Counselor is testifying. It was a question. No, I was not aware. Don't that my don't bullets answer. Did. Don't 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 answer. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think that. I think that the defense have probably lost this. I think. I think You're this is a, a win for the cops here. here. I think. No, I was not aware that my bullet could have hit them. I, I think I still think they pushed the wrong and charge. I don't think the negligent discharge. I think that's the stress. Animal cruelty just seemed like the right thing. No person in sight in the direction that I was firing my firearm. He's exactly right. He did, had no idea Miss Lamb was there. And uh, in your point of view, what actions did you take to prevent having to shoot the coyote? We had uh, been trying to avoid the coyote. It seemed like the coyote was just not keen on getting off the dock we gave it multiple chances we've relocated in different spots with the pier trying to continue our fishing job it just kept on being a nuisance and following us and why didn't you shoot it when it was allegedly snapping at people's ankles as i said we gave it a chance to survive so that i would not have to deal with this but it did not take that chance and did you plan on calling 911 after shooting the animal 
I did plan on calling 911, but as I said, I arrived back from getting a fishing pole and I had seen they were already there. I feel like the cops should I'm bring sorry, us. So I feel like the back. case has been more consistent. Oh, I'm there sorry. Been okay, some... no, I understand. So you thought that they were going to minor details on scene after you heard yeah. the shot because you saw that they were there beforehand? Yes, sir. Mm. Ooh, uh, fucking no two hours we've been here. Fucking hell. Oh, don't read the right. Great job. Uh, just to clarify for the call, in that last question, you're referring to uh, them being there for a previous scene. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Understood. Um, sorry, one moment. One moment, dude. Come on, bro. No, I had a question, but it slipped my mind. Uh, so that'll be all. All right. Uh, you may step down. All right. Does the defense have uh, any other witnesses or evidence that they'd like to arrest? Close statement. Uh, sure. No witnesses in terms of evidence. One moment. Just let me review. Should I have this shit ready, bro. Oh, good. Okay, so from my the way that I look at these these chain of events, right, is that they went to go fishing. He forgot his fishing pole, so he went to go get a new one. When he came back from buying it, he saw that the there was a coyote that was apparently harassing everyone else. He then went down, started fishing, I assume, and then shot. Uh, the so thing. we'll of course refer to the various pictures of the dock. Uh, you can see the narrowness, and you can see that, uh, as narrow. we talked in multiple testimonies, there was only one land no. exit. No, it's, uh, it's that the coyote carcass can be seen in. Uh, no, in a way, it was almost blocking the exit, uh, and, and it's, it's you know, approaching really upon them, uh, as mentioned in testimony during this time. It's really not. It's quite a wide dock. This, like, this is narrow. Uh, we can see, as this mentioned in testimony, thick. the actual height of the dock itself. Like, this uh, is a dock, the picture uh, regarding Tessa Lamb's position with the ATV in the tree at night is particularly a good example of this. And they're probably fishing here because it shows uh, exactly if, how if high the dock was. And then they uh, kept back and back. They uh, and that relates to here. during the testimony mentioned about the shallowness, the height plus the shallowness recipe for right, maybe grave here. injury, uh, as was uh, mentioned. But like, they like they were probably here or here. And then, you know, they, okay. they said that they retreated, they should keep retreating uh, back here. We'd only point to uh, some pictures being taken at the day and some pictures being taken at the night. Uh, I, I, I don't believe it was made exactly clear during the prosecution's uh, case why that happened, but it's just an unusual factor to take into account. Uh, Deputy Lamb testified that she knew this was going to be going to a criminal trial, so she uh, went back to take pictures of where she was stationed. That's they true. were not photos taken at the time. She went back later on. That's her. That's exactly Thank what you, she Thank you, Honor. Uh, I believe that will be all. And? We rest. Okay. All right. Do both sides need a moment before proceeding to uh, closing arguments? Yeah, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Your Honor. All right. I'll give both sides five minutes. We'll reconvene. Um, I will <laughs> I think that this is. I think this is going great for the the cops. They're going patrol. Citizens on patrol. Mm -mm. Well, because you pushed wrong charges, dude. You literally pushed wrong charges.
bored? No. Why would I be bored? I'm interested. Oh, I don't know. I'm just wondering. I'm hurt. What? People get bored. Sorry, sir. That's Pardon fine. my work wife. Are you That's... trying to be a lawyer? No, I am actually trying to be one of you. I want to be a police officer. Oh, you want to be a police officer? Yes, sir. What department? Um, I mean, I I, I think I'm probably BCSO because I have they have cool hats. Yeah, BCSO do have cool hat. Cool hats. Cool hats. Yeah, like I'm, a, I'm a big fan hat. of the campaign hat. Yeah, I like a good hat. Huh. Yeah, that is true. They don't got that over in the uh, LSPD. No. I believe we've met before, Miss Miss Gould. I, I believe you um, you, you may have uh, pulled me over before, and then you let us go because we're going to go and cover some break-ins up in the the, the hills. So it was a good experience, you would say. Yeah, it was very good. It was very enjoyable. Ah. To be fair, I I I almost want to get pulled over again just so that I can, you know. What the fuck? Well, no, listen. No, just just so that I can prove what I can do, and I, you know, give myself a traffic stop because I I love doing ten thirty eights. Like my favorite part. I'd like to do both parts. Oh. It'd be amazing. This. I'm such a good cop that people want to get pulled over by me. What That's can true. I expect? One of the better, one of the better cadet experiences I've ever had. You know what? That makes Tell me very happy. One I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. That's all I want in in this in in life. She is a real cop. Yes, she is. I am a real cop. I just make it. I'm. I'm I add some pizzazz. Yeah, I've been an I've been an FTA for four years. All right, and, and both sides ready. Oh, oh, oh my God! Thank you. You're very welcome. Ready, Your Honor. That was good. All right, defense. She would. She won't remember me. She. 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 Like, I'm number of people. The number of people that she's encountered. But no, that's good. We we laid in some groundwork. We laid in some serious groundwork. Your Honor, people of the court. Today we have heard witness testimony and examined evidence to enlighten the details of the incident that occurred on May 22nd. We don't deny Frank Mucus's right to self-protection, however, he did not take the proper precautions and actions necessary to do so. This coyote should still be alive today. Frank and his colleagues had several opportunities to leave the scene. I don't think, I don't think Tessa was paying attention. Had circling for some time <laughs> like and even zone. testifying. Fucking Pimzo just like leaning on Amber. The excuse of the water That's being too shallow great. is not good enough, <laughs> as when it's a matter of life or death, genius. the specific ankle is being better than being eaten by a coyote. And when rangers arrived, the group of people were acting as if nothing happened and just fishing. The shot not only took the life of a coyote that should still it's be alive Pimzo. today, but it also put Ranger Lamb into harm's way as she was directly in the line of sight of the projectile, hence the reckless endangerment. The defendant is claiming it was a last resort, but yeah, the evidence the reckless endangerment otherwise. shouldn't... The casing that... is much, much further than just a few steps away from the coyote carcass. carcass. And the evidence shows that it is more oh, likely the coyote I, 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 I must have missed that. before even taken. I, 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 listen, all in all, Your look, Honor, look, we ask that you deny look, this appeal on the basis of the proper knowledge of the hat. law and failure to abide by gun safety regulations. Well, I love a good hat. Sexton loves a good safety. hat. Thank you. Alright, defense. <laughs> oh, what are you eating, Your Honor? <laughs> I'm curious as well. <laughs> Do you have like the the ones that's like like shaped a certain way, you know? With no, the rails just the or... regular ones. <laughs> no, I don't get what's the appeal for the other one. Oh my god. Alright, sorry. <laughs> right, so today we have explored through evidence and testimony how Frank Mucus defended himself and others from a charging wild coyote on the 22nd of May. We heard how brothers, Frank and Lucas Mucus, went to the fishing docks together and met Blaze Green among others for the first time. It is worth remembering that Blaze Green was an absolute stranger to the Mucus brothers on that day. We heard how they were fishing when a coyote was on the dock and was freaking out. Perhaps a symptom of hydrophobia from rabies. What? And eventually ended up charging towards them. What? We heard how Frank, a licensed and knowledgeable gun owner, made multiple attempts to relocate and retreat uh, with the group as a whole during this time. Texan loves a hat. And how eventually the sole land entrance to the dock Why? was blocked. The and rabies. Thus, Wasn't Frank the rabies saw no thing escape sustained? route on the narrow fishing dock and stood his ground when the coyote made its final charge towards them. We what? should not be distracted today by the circus trick of a trained non-wild coyote. 
We have heard consistent testimony from two others in the dock that day. Frank's brother Lucas, and stranger at the time, Mr. Green. Both supporting Frank's story, in particular, uh, the most crucial aspect that the coyote was charging towards them at the time. We have confirmed through these multiple testimonies, uh, and those of the officers, how narrow the fishing dock was, and how it gave no land exit aside from the one being blocked. Aside from the high fall and shallow water, uh, thus risking grave injuries. And this is further supported by the various images of the dock, showing how high it is and how shallow the water around it is. Ideal for fishing, not for escaping, charging wild animals. It is the defence's assertion that Frank Mucus acted completely lawfully within the Stand Your Ground concept nope. as he defended both himself and those within his vicinity from a clear threat to their persons. They made attempts to retreat but were unsuccessful. The Coyote came at them several no, times good. and eventually it came at them so much that they feared for their life nope. and Frank killed it. Self-defense is not have said criminal is use. Frank's church's he did not engage in criminal use for a firearm. It should also be noted that we heard how Frank, in a responsible manner, informed Ranger Lamb of the shooting. That's not true. As she arrived on scene immediately after spying on them from a nearby bush. Yeah. And was there immediately. She was immediately informed, so there was no need to call 911 because the police knew. To be fair. Uh, it was also discussed fully how he complied. There was no aspects of resi uh, resisting. He, he knew full well that he, what he had done was legal and complied fully with the police. He met his duty to report as a licensed gun owner. There was no animal cruelty because this was an act of self-defense. Not to mention that only a single bullet were used in an efficient and humane manner. Thanks to humane being such a capable and competent he just licensed himself. gun owner. He didn't want to do it, and he didn't cause any. No, I wouldn't do that because it's um. He so it's not a pet. It's, it's, it's not a pet. So. A model, firearms license holder. Any accusations you know of reckless endangerment have also been proven a nonsense. Oh, we can't. As all testimonies, oh, we can't including do it, Miss Lambs herself, oh, we can't do indicate it. that Frank's single bullet. Was not done. Uh, was not fired with any kind of disregard for the safety of others. He didn't know that. anybody was in front of him. We can also tell by pictures of the dock and understanding the height of a coyote you know versus do, right? a person that if he was shooting, he would still be shooting downwards regardless of the ramp, and that it would land at the 45 degree ish angled ramp and go in rather than ricochet. We have confirmed that Ranger Lamb, or any other officer for that case, did not personally witness the incident <laughs> itself, only the aftermath. And we have uh, gone through in great detail how every single eyewitness on the dock that we have called today... It's a wild animal, dude! ...could not uh, it's a wild see animal. Tessa Lamb, and could in fact see the currency charging. And that the single shot was accurate, uh, hit its target, Listen, to be fair, it's been like crawl. two hours. It it's it's a miracle. Quite the opposite of these, in fact. Actually, these been officers two and a half have penalized a licensed weapon for like holder ever. for defending himself and others from a wild animal. We ask that the court grant this appeal and right this wrong. Alright. I'm going to go back and deliberate. Um, please be quiet. The walls are very thin. I don't want to have to come out and yell at people. Because um, I need time to think in there, okay? Uh, court's in recess while I go deliberate. Okay. Wait, how long do we have? Five minutes? Deliberation. What? How long? I, do I don't know recess? how long this is gonna take. Okay. I, I go. I gotta call my mom. I hope she's okay, bro. Yeah, she is. I think Pickles did very well to stay this long without having a little accident, to be fair. I can barely hear you, hold on. Okay. 
What's that? I said I think I think he did very well to like you know last this long. You know it's been a very long case. Yeah, it has been a pretty long case. But uh, I think it's been worth it because uh. Who the fuck left this wild animal in here? <laughs> Who the pickles! Oh. It's pickles! Oh, wow. It's pickles! Pickles! I think they got this in the bag. Pickles! I thought there was a wild animal. He is a wild animal, but he is my wild animal. He is an so animal you're responsible for That's too... No, I that's am responsible for that. That's why you're sitting politely in this courtroom. Hey guys, you know the judges? Shut up. Um, deliberate. Deliberate! Not to just shoot deliberate. random wild animals they see sitting around, not harming anyone. It's pickles! Oh shit, there's a puppy dog in this. It's a coyote. It's a coyote. Oh, yeah, look at him. Not to, hey, not to be rude or anything, but that dog is ugly. It's because it's not a dog, it's, well, it's a, not a dog, what? it's a coyote. Oh, shit. I'm just looking at it. coyote. No, that's why it's not a uh, canine unit. Is that illegal? Are you planning on. What? Never mind. I don't know, I'm just wondering why you would need these things. What about what I, you almost just did? Is Shoot, a coyote! Sir, it's what the fuck are you What's doing that? back here? It's not a dog! Oh shit, I'm not allowed to eat. Nah, you're not. Uh, no, what the, what the, the fuck do you want, you, asshole? Get the you, fuck back you behind the goddamn the thing! Coyote? Hey, fuck, I wanted to pet a coyote. You can, just take a peek at him, he's uh... Doing good. Oh, he's crying a lot. Oh my god, he's moving! Shit, I gotta run. That's just fucking scary. He's, he's harmless. Get he's gonna eat you! Hey, okay, why is there a rumor saying that you wear a wig? Before you guys talk about rumors, then you have food. He's interested, so obviously you're No, ma'am. Tessa, also I have a, I have a single. Stop pulling! It's not a fucking wig. Why are they saying that? I don't know why people say Tessa. Interviews? It's got yeah, white hair right already. Let's have a look. Are, right are, are you in? Oh, Amber, ready? I was wrong. By the way, they're interviewing what? Willow. Yeah, yeah, and, like I'm, in 20 I'm showing minutes. her the ropes. She, she didn't have a fucking ride along. He's kind of hey, it's like shaking like when he's a malnourished wolf or something because he seems pretty tiny. He's not a wolf, he's a coyote. It's like a soy. <laughs> Don't call him soy, damn it. I'll make you lose your job. Oh god. That's just how they're built. They're a you lot gonna die more like you going to get fired. Oh, 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 oh. And they kind of they tend I'm to sorry, look I'm a sorry. little malnourished compared to a wolf because the wolf has a lot more uh you know <laughs> Tessa showed soy me dog. yesterday. Yeah, it's they're, they're kind of like a soy dog, I would say. Well, yeah, coyotes are actually ruthless. That's so cute! Yeah. Look, Pickles' dick is bigger than yours. <laughs> well, well, don't say that. Don't look, don't no, look at him like that. Come on. That's like harassment. We should Please charge you guys for animal cruelty. Well, listen. You know, dying to uh, being eaten by coyotes is actually a... One of the worst ways to die. Ways to die. I don't know how to say this in English. There's, Why is my there's English? There's actually fucking... not any reported incidents of that. Well, like let's say if you were like a deer or something, right? I think you're thinking of African wild dogs, which start to eat the guts of the animal before it's actually. Well, dead. I was saying, oh shit, is it African wow, wild dogs? Wow, she dog? knows her shit. Coyote. She does know her shit. Damn it, I thought it was coyote. Well, what are you? Uh, you uh, get fucked. Bringing your, what is it? Bring your pet to work day or something. Oh well, my god, a, I'm 45! Oh, oh my god, god no! It's 45! It's probably pickles! <laughs> oh, pickles. <laughs> probably 
like the rest of his family. Don't look pickles. Oh, God, Wait, no, he was coming. He is pickles. I did hit. Trouble the Never ears. mind. What? You hit a. You hit a. You hit pickles' huh? family? No. Oh, all right. Thank what you. did you hit, sir? I accidentally ran over a coyote the other day. It was the worst oh, thing ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. No, 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 no. Well, Tessa, it's fine. It's lights and sirens. I say that all the time whenever I run over, you know, deer and cows and, cows and bunnies. Oh yeah, if your lights and sirens are on, you were here. I hit a cow the lights other day. What? I hit a cow too. Oh. I hit a deer. Oh. <laughs> what happens when you hit a cow? Hey, 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 oh, you guys want to know why I why I hit that cow? Why, Sheriff? It why? wouldn't move over. Oh. <laughs> it wouldn't oh, move cow. out of my way. Oh, All right, lock him up. For what? <laughs> oh, God. So, wait, what, so what did these green-haired goofballs do? What did these green-haired dumb fucks they, do? They were fishing off a fishing dock, and they shot a, a single gun shot that hit a coyote. Uh, very much like Mr. Pickles here, and uh, I was behind a bush nearby uh, in the line of fire where the they bush. shot at the uh, um, coyote. So technically no reckless there. endangerment, criminal use, and animal right cruelty. So you saw them do it. Why the fuck did they want a court case if they knew you saw? I, well, I, I didn't see them do it. I heard, I was literally right there around the corner. I couldn't see behind the bush. That's the whole point. They didn't oh, know I was okay. there, so they shot in my general direction. They could have hit me. Can I ice bag any time? What? Can what? I fuck oh, any time? What? You, 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 can you fuck any time? Yeah. Can yes, I you can. Fuck you. Yeah. Go ahead and no, no, don't fuck you. I'm fucking myself. That works too. Okay, perfect. I just did it. So when does cut taste in a stack? It, well, it started two hours ago, you! Well, yeah, she's still a great right now. You've been in here for two hours and 15 plus minutes. About a dude fuck? that shot a fucking coyote. <laughs> pickles! Sheriff's already the new chief. Close your ears, Pickles! Don't yeah, listen to Hamburger. No, no. But Trady is also my chief. Are you gonna do both positions, or are you gonna switch to... Listen, Calfred, I'll to give you the pass. Ah, you worry. You. You good? Well, I can't try yes, me. Dialect. Oh, it's because he's being a fucking. Been... Yup. Because I'm being what? I'm trying to. You, know, you gonna to die? die? That no. What? what? What's wrong with that? I don't understand. What the fuck's wrong with Point ignorant? Probably distracted. <laughs> Where's Pinzone? <laughs> Behind the judge's desk. Oh my god. I don't know. You gonna die. I mean, everybody said I was saying it yeah. wrong before when I said your name. Oh, it wasn't wrong. It's okay now. You did you did great. <laughs> you put you added an extra G in there. I know I'm a G, but you don't need to add an extra G in there. Yeah, you gonna die. Yeah, you gonna die. You gonna die. You know who you I You gonna die. I miss you a sucker. You got time. You a sucker? Oh. Yeah, whatever oh. happened to her, Amber? I don't, I don't know. know, actually. I was wondering why I didn't have your number. I thought you were I thought you were the other you. Oh. There's two yous, huh? Yeah, there's you a sucker, and you gonna die. Yeah, I'm I like just It must be my other cousin. Oh my god. Yeah, you know, you is a very common name. There's me, there's I, and there's you. There's double U's. There's double U's, see? Okay, so I'm gonna go park I... my car. I should be deleting U's number from my phone. Yeah, me Not too. You. I thought Wait, she, she was one of you? She was one of the good ones. She was. She was! What was she like? I never really uh, she was to her like She was you know, I never really heard her voice that much, if I'm being honest. It's oh, very really? hard to pinpoint oh, yeah. her voice. She yeah. was very. Oh. She had like a mix of every accent. And she was, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Yep. She was kind of like, "Hey, how's it going?" You know, like that. Oh, okay, that just sounds wow, like puberty. No, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to do other accents. Okay, don't do other accents. 
The only other accents I could do is either a really Hispanic one or a really Southern one. You That's can't do a Southern one. Wait, aren't you? Aren't you his, but, but, but so just a question. So aren't, I thought you were Hispanic. Yeah, I am. You so, are? Yeah. What? Well, I mean, I don't think I wouldn't say I have an accent technically. Yeah, you don't really have an oh. accent. It's oh not really. You do. It's not that thick. Can I, yeah, can I hear why. your really thick Hispanic accent? It's because I was yeah, only here. in Cuba for like a year. I want to hear it. I want to hear it too. I want to hear Wait, it. Wait, what? Your really thick Hispanic yeah, accent. Yeah, your really thickness. Thick. thick. Well, like, it, I mean, I would just have to start speaking Spanish. Like, be like, que bolón, que vuelta, se Whoa! That's kind of Damn, thick. Scarface over in this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Oh that's, that's a lot of people say that. Oh, say hello shit. to my little friend. Say hello oh to my, my little God. friend. Oh, hey, what the well, fuck are well. you doing? Hey, come on, man. Hello. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know, honestly, I don't you think know. So? I think I think Scarface, you know, has a pretty attractive. What you appeal. talking about, man? Do you stupid talking or about something? Hey, I'm fucking talking to you. Yo, Scarface is a fucking classic. It's a really good one. It's a really that is a really good fucking movie. Maybe I should watch it. You it is it's seen really it? you, Wait, you seen What it? movie is it? It's like two hours Scarface. long. It's like an Scarface. hour and a half. Al Pacino. It. Uh -oh. It's like the perfect '80s movie. Yeah, oh. literally. If you want to dive back, like it's a. It's I'm like a zoomer. Necessary. Like you know, I never watched the what's it called the Godfather and people read. You need to watch the Godfather. No, I haven't watched the Godfather. You know I don't, don't want to watch it. I watched the first Godfather. I, I just watched, watched everything. that recently for the first time. You guys should watch Blow. Blow's really good. Blow? Blow what? Blow. Yeah, blow, blow. Blow's good with Johnny blow's Depp. So good. Blow? It's about cocaine. Cocaine! It all... Oh. Yeah, I actually really like those uh, kinds of movies. The ones like... You know, I like the oh. Casa de Papel. That one's really good. What? What about Carlito's the House of the... Money? The Casa de Papel. Yeah, the House of Papers or whatever. Here we got it. Here we got it. good. I want to sit and watch Heat. He's great. Take off. All right, I'm going to be calling the field back in a second. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and break down each charge separately, and uh, I'm going to begin with reckless endangerment. That's which not reads, going. person creates a substantial risk of serious physical injury That's not to another person. Not the going. accused person isn't required to intend the resulting or potential harm but must have acted in a way that showed a disregard for the foreseeable consequences of the actions. The defendant and witnesses in their own words claim that Frank Mucus had the other individuals on the dock step behind him before he fired upon the coyote. I agree. Which I admit sounds like the action of a responsible gun owner at first. It does. However, when Frank fired upon the coyote, he was aiming upwards towards the entrance of the dock and had no idea whether anyone was still there. Testimony from both sides admits that there were rangers in the vicinity moments prior, and from the sounds of it, this is a popular fishing location. There could have been other people at the entrance of the dock, behind the boulder, and behind the bush. Reckless endangerment does not require intent. In fact, it requires the defendant to act in a way which is negligent and not checking your complete surroundings before firing a weapon. Emily follows under this category. For the charge of animal cruelty, the defendant and the witnesses for the defense both state that the coyote was running around, snapping at ankles, pacing back and forth on the dock. It is unclear how long this behavior was going on for, but long enough for them to give the animal multiple chances to leave. Long enough for Frank to tell the other individuals to step back, and long enough for Frank to pull his weapon and discharge it. In this time, he or the other parties could have stepped back and called 911. In the photograph of the dock, we can see there is a small roof which they could have climbed up and called Ooh. the authorities and wait for the rangers to respond, who they knew had just left the area, for them to come deal with the wild and supposedly rabid animal. Or they could have hopped off the dock. I don't believe that hopping down into the water could have caused any sort of physical harm, especially when the alternative is supposedly getting mauled by a coyote. If an animal is snapping at my ankles and possibly rabid, I would rather leave by any means necessary, and we can see by the photograph that there are several other alternatives before recklessly discharging the firearm. For the charge of criminal use of a firearm, as stated previously, I believe that there were multiple steps that could have been taken before discharging the He's weapon. Fucked. They had ample time to call for the rangers to return and ample time to climb upon the roof, as seen in the photo, or merely hopped off the dock into shallow waters and escaped that way. 
There is no legal reason to discharge the weapon or injure the animal, and firing uh, a weapon should be the absolute last resort, not the first. Uh, so, Frank Mucus, today I will be denying your appeal yes. and upholding the original charges. Case is dismissed. That was great. Fuck. Anyone has any questions? Congrats, Tessa. Approach. That was great. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Damn, those motherfuckers look like they belong out in the woods with that green ass hair. They look like walking piles of moss. Sure, if their last name is oh Mucus. That's Mucus? Yep. Yeah, oh Mucus. Hey, Josh. You're on the yeah, Mucus Brothers. Josh. Josh. Sure. Mana. Fuck. Alright, all I need is the judge, bro. Alright, what's up? I called him a crybaby, Sarah. Hey, hey, good case, guys. That was nice. Good case, crybaby. He does look like a crybaby. All right, so uh, hey, uh, you going die? Let me take yes. you to the. Uh, uh, anybody want to take her? I can take her. I'm gonna go back and put my car away. Oh. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Can I move? Hello? Can I move? Hello? Hello? I don't know. It's kind of different from Coyote. Are you going to be around later? Pickles. Bye, Pickles. Time to go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your service. Is the court over or is it about to start? Um, so it's over right now. I, I'm assuming you want to talk to a judge, right? Yeah. Okay, so here, here's what you want to do, right? I also need to speak to a judge. But she's she's very busy right now. And when it, you see that guy over there in a white t-shirt and the white like white beater? Um, he yeah, basically yeah. tried to talk to a judge. And she basically told him, if you're if you're asking for like, licenses, I'm just going to deny them right now. So if, if oh, no, I'm not asking for a license, but anything, right? Um, yeah, probably best to wait till she's finished with the, um, the attorneys. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't ask in here. I just didn't know if, they, if there was a cold case or not. What happened today? So, good? Yeah, yeah, so you got, you see those gentlemen over there with the, the green hair, right? Yeah, the jokers? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, so basically, um, the guy without the bow tie, the guy with, like, the long tie and the black sort of dark suit. Okay. Um, he was, he was arrested and charged for... Animal cruelty, um, 
reckless discharge of firearm and I think there was another charge I don't remember or negligent discharge um, and he was appealing those charges because he felt that the he shot the what coyote. did he do shoot a dog or something he shot a, coy a coyote at the fishing dock Ooh. and he he claimed that it was in self-defense um, but unfortunately the judge has basically um, denied his appeal and the original charges good, good. stand but yeah coyote don't attack do they I don't think they do well, so they they were arguing that the the coyote was um the, to use their words rabid and was like running up and down the dock and snapping at people's like ankles and stuff oh but call animal control next time well that's basically what the judge said is like rangers apparently just left the scene like not long and the the judge basically stated that they could have just you know you know as as it wasn't you know it was snapping at them it was, apparently being aggressive but it wasn't actually actively attacking anybody the judge argued that they had time to basically do a 911 and you know get officers back on scene you know so okay all right well thank you all right no problem dude Yeah, she she's everywhere to be angry and upset right now. I am starving. Thank you for your time today, guys.
Like just the one to buy a pistol. All right, sir. I think you need to review gun laws before you uh, decide to, to like apply a for a weapons license. You can do that in the tablet right there right. next to you. <laughs> uh, clearly not if you're referring to them as class ones. <laughs> all right. Next. Oh, I'm sorry. We did I jump ahead of you, Whoa, my friend? I'm here to uh, you did, maybe. That's all right. Dagger, no, no, no. It's fine, dude. Oh, Listen, I'm English. We love to queue. Yeah, sir, can you yeah that's right, man. It's, you know, it's, it's what we do best, you know. Yo. We know we may not be we not be great sportsmen or scholars, so but we do love to fucking queue. Oh yep, yep, Who the yep. fuck else am I meant to call it? Huh? A firearm weapons permit. Oh my god. All oh, right. sorry. Jesus. What, uh, what items are you looking for? It's a cigarette. Nah, that ain't for real shit. I hate. Steal my car. I don't know what you're talking. I don't know what you're talking. About. <laughs> um, I know what the fuck I'm you're talking about. You stole my car there. and you had it stolen again. What, what the fuck? Like? I don't have you steal it. I didn't steal uh, it. It's it's stolen again. All the first. You're time. stumbling over your own fucking words, dude. What the fuck? Okay, Are you making uh, fun of my speechy? I'm pissed that you stole my fucking car. Look, learn to live and forget. Oh, you're fucked. Hey, lawyer. Uh, I think I mean, I'm gonna need to charge this. I'm gonna need to sue this woman for assault. You stole yeah. my car. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. Yeah. Not yeah, let's. In here. All right, well, um, what did you cop this back then, you fucking dog. Don't be punching me. Uh, gold. Hey, get the fuck out of City Hall, both of you. This she man stole first. my car. I don't care. Get the fuck out of City Hall, both not of you. Not a problem. She swung first. Self defense. Leave. I know I my rights. Care. Leave. I know my rights, my laws. Leave. Hey, have some respect for the judge, Bodhi. All right, if you don't leave, I'm going to have you trespass, and it's going to be felony trespassing. Goodbye. Oh, she is. You punched her, though. Okay, um, let me continue looking. I apologize for people being not today. No worries. I'm not... Oh, when did you submit it? Uh... It was, uh, earlier today. Okay, um... If not, I can just go make it triple quick. Well, the problem is, is I'll probably be gone by the time you come back, because I'm going back to sleep. Uh, um, I see, is it Redwood Gold? Yep. Okay, this is like a very tiny thing. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> um, you may want to resubmit it in a different size. It literally, oh, it's very okay, tiny. It looks like yeah. a little dot. <laughs> oh, yep. Okay, yeah, I'll fix that in a... See what we'll happened, see you got out of line, and now you're... Now you're a whole person behind. What? All right, next. Thank you. Hey, what up? Can I get a Take the mask weapon? off. Oh. Hey, can I get a weapon class permit? And the person smoking, you can leave. And the sir that I just trespassed uh, from here. Shh. Can I stay hey. if I stop smoking? Hey, stop fucking no. around, bro. I'm trying to get my license. So she can't cause are you familiar with the are you familiar with the gun laws because if you're not it's a fucking big issue hey all right sir, shut like up. i said you can leave for what because you are at this point trespassing goodbye wow. because i have already told you to leave several times and you are still here this is a public building <laughs> it is a government facility sir and i've already exactly. told you to leave i'm not the police hey have no, some but respect. I am a judge. yeah okay i understand you know what? I could just leave right now, and everyone hey. in line will be very angry at you because a judge has left. You know, make this is leave injustice. And I'll bash your head in, bro. Shut the fuck up. Hey. I just want my gun yeah, license. Yeah. Look, look, I just want my gun license. You're not gonna yeah, you're not getting one. that today. <laughs> she's, she's definitely not going to give you a gun license. In fact, bro. you really can come helps. back in 48 hours for one. Oh, fuck's sake. Alright, sorry about that. What can I help hey, you? Okay. Can I please get a weapon class permit? Uh, yes. Let me see your ID. Thank you. Uh, easy.
does he know his light his laws hey shut up i know mine evidently not oh <laughs> i'm really barking up the wrong tree pal all right sir so weapon permit today is gonna run you 1500. hey there you go go ahead and get filled up there you go Hey, cheers for that. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go get some food. All right, thank you. Hey, Park, you gonna sell me some fucking guns? Uh, you're right. Hey, shut up, be done. Hello. Yeah, you fucking will be. Oh shit. Hey, I can show you my spot for ten dollars. Hey, sir, can we chat for a second? Yeah, no worries. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's this guy. He is uh, banned from City Hall for the next forty-eight hours. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> All right, sir. What can I do for you? Oh my God, is that, I'm just off the uh, firearms license, please. All right, let me see your ID. There you go. Hey, San Diego. Yeah, what's going on? Are <laughs> uh, you getting a gun license? Uh, that's a great jacket. What are you talking about? Oh, is that it? Come, go talk to that lady over there instead of lying, bro. Yeah. Fucking wasting your time. Your brother is awake. The the guy in the red is do look right, sharp. There you go. He you does are appreciate good. I remember a, a you from yesterday. Alright, next. Hey, I'm hey, I'm I'm just wondering what hey, licenses we can purchase. Uh, so you can get a weapons permit, a hunting Can license, or a fishing license. Uh, all three is twenty five hundred. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'll pay you guys a thousand dollars if I can cut you. Hello, ma'am. No. Hey, officer. All right. What can I do for you? Um, so I completed the three-day. I can barely hear you guys speak up. Oh, sorry. I completed the three-day mandatory Rx course a week ago, um, and I'm wondering if I can actually get my helicopter's license today. Uh, yeah. Let me check this real quick. A second, it might take me a moment. Uh, let me see your ID. There we go, ma'am. Gary Sexton. All right, one second. All right, I see that in here. So a flight license is going to run you $5,000. Give me one second. I have everything set up for you. No problem. Uh, five grand. I don't even give a shit. We're so happy. Let's see what you did there. What's up, guys? Sorry, Anybody in line? Uh, I'll pay you a thousand dollars if I can cut you, please. I'll take that deal. Oh, they left my fucking boy. I didn't mean you could cut All right, me, there you go. You were good to go. You Thank you very fuck? much. I didn't you, pay better, you, better, you better pay them. You I better you, pay bro. them. Yeah, hey, how you doing, man? So my business got approved, and um, I just need the account made and all that. It's uh, Boom. Called the Jesus Jesus Flight Club. All right, what? Yeah. The, 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 we're good. Guys, needs to go through the line. Guys, got millions of dollars. Maybe you could give us millions of dollars to get. Where did I fucking park? I don't even remember where I parked. I think I parked right in the corner, right? Yeah! There we go. Oh fuck, man. It's time for me to come off now. Jeez. Read the dream, dude. Read the fucking dream. Ugh. But hey, listen. We got zero RP done. Well, no. We, we got our pilot's license, which is what we want. Which means... Next time we come in the city, we can theoretically, if we can get in for a full day, means we can we can do some flying. That'd be nice. But yeah, that was. But no, unfortunately, it's that kind of time. I, I don't even know what group that is. 
I'd have gotten the, the denim. Yeah, but... Like, the thing that you have to cup, remember... Like, it was fucking, fuck? you know, fight night and Thanksgiving, you know? That ain't cool. Huh. That ain't anyway, right. So then she's like, I was like, yeah, the only... You know, she's like, I don't even remember you. You know, four days later, I'm like, the fuck you do? You fucking beat my fucking shit, you fucking ass. But yeah, like, the thing is with, like, clothing options is it's is it's kind of difficult. Like, yeah, he probably shouldn't be wearing that, but the chances are, if he's not part of the group, that he's relatively new. So, yeah, he'll probably get fucked up because of it, but, you know, like, he'll learn. You know? You are a motherfucking pilot now. See, the thing is, I don't know anything about a lot of the criminal stuff, right? Like, there's not a lot I, I know. Like, I know a lot about the, the cop stuff because that's what I, like, you know. It's what I know a lot about just because I, I've done cop for so fucking long, you know? But I don't really know the criminals that are active in the city. We just want to go see how much money, if anything, we fucking made off of that. Probably not a lot. Okay, so three hours today, and we were. I don't remember if we did it yes the other day. To be fair, but who fucking cares? Hey, what up, Phil? Can I can I get some money, please, bro? Oh, thousand and nine. That's not bad. We'd have made more if we were on duty as a fucking thing, but that's fine. We're like we're hungry, but. We have to come off now because I have to go to bed so that I can take my kid to college. Denzel for mayor, Jesus Christ. Like Denzel for mayor is fine, but Abdul Al Rahim, he's my boy. Yeah, we voted. Oh, that BBMC isn't that the isn't that Whippies, the gang Whippies in right? Okay, expanded. I'd be interested to find out how that he's going to pay for this, right?
but yeah, I, we're, we're pretty much done. Like, you know, like we didn't really get out in the world. We didn't really do much, but like my character is fascinated. Like I figured that it, you know, if, if we encounter cops, you know, we should talk to them. We, we definitely spoke. We spoke to Amber. We spoke to Pinzone. You know, like Tessa. We also spoke to Tessa. So like this is. Yeah, it was it was a good. I feel that's good, and I feel like if I, you know, as long as I'm not pushing it too much, you know, there's definitely potential there. But we'll, you know, for now, you know, unfortunately on the evenings, you know, I'm very limited as to what I can do. You know, it's, you know, because it is twenty past ten, and you know, I have to stop streaming. I have to go to bed in a sec. Uh, I hate that so much. I really hate people that drive like a jackass. You know? There we go. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come to a full stop and then we're going to turn right on red. Right, and then that's all on, the, that's on red. Which means we can turn into here. way of getting around the red lights. It's a great job. So let's go see who is streaming and then But yeah, let, let's see who's actually streaming so we can actually narrate. Who do we got? So who we, let's go down the bottom. Yeah, pictures, pictures on, right? 